Hello, hello, hello. It is time for Farming Simulator 22. We got to get back to our career save here on the French map. Sorry about my phone making a little noise there. I forgot to hit mute there. And I think we're going to be getting close to harvest time this evening as we stream. I hope we are. I think we just planted everything. So we got to skip forward a few months, let it grow, and then we can harvest. I think that's where we're at. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, hmm. Maybe we didn't even... Oh, oh. That's right. We started filling in this. I think I planted this half of it over here. Yeah. Okay, so we got fertilized, and we got canola growing there. Okay. We're growing. We're growing. Hey, Bob Pop, how you doing? Craig Durbin, you were talking about your Bronto on Ark. You need to, uh, you, you don't tame level 12s. This is the whole thing. You gotta, that's why you gotta tame a high level to begin with. High level would have started out with more than 4,000 health, and then once you tame it up, it gets even more, and then you level it up, and you could have 20, 30, 40, 50,000 health on that thing, and then it's a big tank. That's why you don't tame low level crap. But depending on how you set up your single player, that's much, you shouldn't have any level 12s anyway. If you set difficulty to the max and then check the box for maximum difficulty, which doesn't make the game hard at all, all it does is raise the high, it raises the dino levels. So there's higher level dinos. It's not that big of a difficulty difference. Um, you need to set difficulty all the way up on this thing and then check the box for maximum difficulty. Then you'll start getting everything. Will the five will be the lowest and then 150 will be the highest. That's what you got to do on single player arc. Bob Pop! Oh, Bob Pop's back on the right account now with all the exclamations. Good. I might need to turn the mic up some, really? Son of a gun. I don't know what's going on with this damn thing, but. Let's, uh. Ah, shit. Let's see here. Let's, um. Try to figure out how to do this. I think this is what I'm on right here. I think that's my mic. I'm going to boost it a little bit. Hopefully that's a little bit louder. I don't know. Does that sound a little bit better? Hopefully it does. I don't want to be like, I'm not trying to talk loud or shout on purpose or anything too. I just want to talk normal. But Hopefully that sounds a little bit better. Let me know. Um, thank you. All right. Uh, we got, we got to see where we left off here. Because I always never remember. Oh, wrong thing I'm hitting there. I gotta go this way. I know we planted wheat. Well, let's just see. We got a few fields of wheat. And we got a couple fields of canola. We have everything growing. Everything's been fertilized at least once. Okay. We still need to plow and get stones out. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, we need to check always the shop or the used vehicle market to see if there's anything we want to buy there's a big harvester there we don't have the money for that we don't really need a harvester yet though harvester is probably later on the list of things that we need okay daniel grant how you doing i didn't see what you said there but you said you're joking hey bank station how you doing steve woods john schultz oh man there's a whole bunch of people chat's moving too fast for me tonight Thanks for coming in here, everybody. Mikey, what's going on? Sound is good. Thanks, Shannon. All right, let's see here. Mikey had a large plain cheese pizza. Very good, Mikey. All right, so we got that. Let me just double check. There were no contracts we were working on last time we played. Looks like there's a bunch of contracts here. But uh, we're not going to do those. Let's just go skip to the next month. Make sure there's enough water in these. Plenty of water. It looks like I just filled them up. Let's go to the house and sleep till 8 a.m. the next day. Till the next month, I mean. One day, one month. Wouldn't it be crazy if every day was only one month? Or every month was only one day, I guess? That'd be weird, wouldn't it? That'd be weird. All right, bump pop. pop. <laughs> Bob Pop, I saw your request for another command. A, I really don't want to be linking my channel to any high school YouTube accounts. B, 
the SDHS sports page that you sent me to was not San Dimas High School. It was some other high school that has the initials SDHS, and it was in the state of Maryland. So I don't know if you even looked at that really, but uh, I don't. I, I don't think that's. I don't think we want to link to that. It's some some high school in Maryland sports program. So I, I'm not going to add that command. <laughs> oh boy, Banks has his command. <laughs> Josh says, "Hey, Mitch." <laughs> Uh, it's not Mitch. Did someone call me Mitch or something? What's that all about? I don't know what that means. You saw on the Discord that Nubs got the Blaze Farm working? Oh, I saw he was getting killed a whole bunch trying to build one, he said. Please stop changing the exclamation points. Well, we got a Bob Pop command. I'm not changing it. If that's the if that's the one he wants to, uh, to uh, promote, then that's the one we're going to promote. But... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to change it every time he changes his name. So what are we doing here? What are we doing? i got to look at my fields. Okay, they should be growing a little bit. we got to do fertilizing. I know that. So we need to go ahead and get our thingamajig here. You know what? We're not going to use this little tractor. Let's use the good tractor since that's all we got going on right now. Go park this guy. Get our big guy. Our medium tractor, I guess. Coin giveaway there is. Dallas, how you doing? Or no. Is that that's not Dallas. That's Delight. Sorry. Delight. Sorry. I got my computer a little too far away from me where I'm sitting right now, so it's hard to see the chat. I got to maybe I got to put up put on the old people setting where it does like the zoom. I'm trying to avoid doing that. I'm not that old. <laughs> All right, so let's go over here and start fertilizing. Zoom out. We've already done one level of fertilizing here. This will be the second. And last that we have to do to give us 100% fertilization on all of our crops. Give us a nice yield boost. Delight, welcome. Sorry, but sorry I got your name wrong there. <laughs> uh, everybody's putting in so many damn commands, I can't even keep up what's going on in chat. I, I should just, I might have to disable all of my commands one day. I don't know. Uh, Bob Pop says, if I win the coin giveaway, don't give it to me. Why would I not give it to you, Bob? Why would you say don't give it to me? Please explain. Are you saying you're not a coin collector? That's okay. I mean, it's silver. You don't like precious metals? You don't think you'd like silver? 97X. Bam. The future of rock and roll. Yeah, I'll be 18 again for sure. 97X. Bam. The future of rock and roll. Bank station goes, Ma! The meatloaf! <laughs> He's the 150th person to request some meatloaf. <laughs> Alright, this guy is going to do some fertilizing for us. In the meantime, we can look at... Uh, we could go harvest some corn. Or do some cultivating. I think we're going to avoid doing some contracts for now. Even though it's good money, and we do need money. I like money. Uh, we need to w go all the way until July of next year so we can start harvesting. July of next year is when, our, when we harvest. Okay. But we'll keep it on our contract. We'll actually check the used tractor market. Ooh. There is another harvester available. A new Holland. We don't need harvester. Harvester is like... We do need a new harvester. But that's not the first thing we need. The first thing we need is like a good tractor. And some uh, some tools for a good tractor. But a good tractor would be what we really need. But we only got 168,000. I can't just go get a new tractor right away. Can't buy a brand new one. Gonna move some more straw? Um, when we harvest, yeah. I mean, I think we got a... I think I did pretty much clear out my barn for the most part. Let's look in here. I got some oats and canola and wheat stored in my silos. 
56,000 liters. So I could make money. That's about 56 grand. That's about, I don't know, about 25 grand there. And that's about 50 grand there. So I got 125 grand in my silo. So I can get some money if I have to raise some money. I'd rather store that because that's going to feed chickens when we get chickens because I want to get chickens. Um, but I got to buy a supermarket. And I got there's, there's other stuff I got to do too. And I got, I got 43,000 liters of straw saved up. That's only worth about four grand, five grand. It's not worth selling. I think I'll save that for now. All right. Is this guy going to just keep on uh, keeping on? Yep, he's still fertilizing. That's good. Good, 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 good. Uh, so Bob Pop doesn't want the coin if he wins. He doesn't want the coins if he wins. Bob Pop, if you win, you should keep the coins. Or you could tell me, Kittle, now that I've won those coins, would you like to buy them from me? And I'd say, sure, Bob. If you don't, if you'd rather me not mail them to you, I would buy them from you and just keep them then, and then I could send you some money. You could sell them to me before you get them. <laughs> I mean, you you shouldn't just say no. I don't want them. They're they're yours. But if you don't want them, I would buy them. All right. If you win the coin, you would like it, please. And if Bob Pop wins, you can send it to me too. He'll take care of it. More. Yeah. Okay. You just finally entered into it, Mikey? What you waiting for? There's only like a week left. I just did a community post on Michael Kittle Rare Coins. So if you guys could do me a favor sometime this stream or soon or before the end of the night, if you can go over to Michael Kittle Rare Coins, click on my community tab and like that community post or even leave a comment if you like. Uh, just made an, just announced that I'll be on the live coin Q&A tomorrow. I probably should have put the date. I probably should have put the date in that post. But I did say tomorrow, and I did, and I did think I said Monday night. Hmm, I don't know. I did, just did the post real quick. I just did it real quick, letting people know I'd be on there and put the link for Livecoin Q and A, just so more people might show up. But not many people see the community posts. I don't know. They just don't really seem to do too well. But I know if you guys go over and click the thumbs up or do stuff, it like helps. I guess I don't know. I think it helps. I think it helps supposed to help all right this guy's gonna do a little more fertilizing is there a quick contract we can do while this is fertilizing cultivating harvest Ooh, a harvesting job for soybeans Ooh, you know what you know what we're gonna do this this is good money yeah we're gonna do this we're gonna borrow some items what field is that i didn't even look that's field 19. Okay. Whoops, no, I accidentally just stopped my worker. Damn it. Hopefully that guy keeps going. I gotta I gotta do this contract. This is good money. And when we do a when we do a oh jeez, look at how big the damn thing is here. I'm not gonna be able to get down the street with this. Where where do we gotta go? 19? Oh, gosh. I probably gotta put this on a trailer. Oh, yeah, 19's way up there. I gotta put this on a trailer. Maybe that works. Yep, it automatically snaps to the trailer. Thank you. Man, if it didn't automatically snap to the trailer, this game would be so toxic. Okay, let's put on our uh, beacon light. Oh, come on. How do you put on the beacon light? Did I do it? Does this thing not have a beacon light? I don't think it has a beacon light. Okay, there it is. That's it. Put a little flasher on the back. That's pretty weak. Is 
You entered into the monthly giveaway. Yeah, I know, Mikey. That's good. That's good. You should always enter. Always. You know how often we do a giveaway? Always. Oh, go, white car. Go. Oh, my goodness. Craig needs food and three diamonds, please. Am I still thinking about doing the KGG Arc game? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What is the KGG Arc game? I don't know what that means. Like, am I still going to play Arc? Yeah. Am I going to play Arc tonight? Probably not. Hold on, I got to pull over here for a second. My uh, worker stopped working. What happened here? I get stuck on a tree. It's alright. Let's start doing the next field. Should probably cut that tree down if it's in the way. A community arc game? I don't know if anybody else will play. I don't know. I, I mean, I know there's a way I can get a server on Ark and, like, have it up, like, 24 hours, kind of like we do on Minecraft. I mean, you got to pay for it. I don't know how much it is, but it's probably, like, I'm guessing it's around 10 bucks a month or something. I know I can do that, and I think it's, if we do a server, I'm not sure if it's cross-play. That's what I'm not sure of. So it might only be PlayStation people. I'd have to look into that. Um, but I don't know who would play with us unless I invited a whole bunch of, like, random viewers, but then they're just going to be toxic and destroy us, probably, or steal all our shit. Can I play Fall, I Fall Guys tonight? I'm not going to play Fall Guys tonight. Whoa. Oh, no. I just, uh, mistakes were made. Oh, crud. I just jackknifed this whole trailer. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. Let's, uh, uh, mistakes were made. Let's drop off the trailer over here because we don't need that anymore. Let's go pick up the header. I tried, I, I made it to the field, but I tried to stop too quick. Okay, get out of here. I should turn off the traffic. This traffic's toxic. Hey, Dallas, how you doing? Remember Dallas? I remember Dallas. I need to unfold the tool first. All right, let's unfold it. Yeah, this is gonna be good money right here. Cause I think we'll get some extra from these soybeans. We'll get some extra money for sure. Thought that Amanda and Banks added art. They did, but would they play it? Probably not. If I had an ARC server, would they get on there and play that? No. I doubt it. They'll play Minecraft. Bob's at 569, dude. 69, dudes. Nice. Anybody want to do duos with Bob Pop? Banks was just asking about duos. Maybe he's Maybe he's down. I just took down a couple signs. It's okay. I'm not playing Minecraft tonight, Banks. I'm playing this. I'm playing this. Hey, Veronica. Hello. Welcome. We will be playing Just Farming Simulator tonight. 
if you don't like it, we'll play something else another day. And Mikey had a large cheese pizza. You're already going to bed, Mikey? Holy crap. Good night, Mikey. Gotta get up at five. Whoa. Whoa. Like five? That's early. Man, this is a big field. This is a big field. Now let's open up the cover. There we go. This is a big semi trailer, too. I like. I like it a lot. Yes, I do have a coin channel where you can see many cool coins. It's uh, Michael Kittle Rare Coins. Subscribe, please. Please. that going. This guy ran out of land it looks like. Did he get the rest of that field? Did he even get that? Driving back to college. Three hour drive. What? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully you guys make it there on time. What the hell's going on with this map? There we go. Fertilized. Yeah, those three fields are double fertilized now. Let me just get these other two. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the end of this field, because I know it didn't finish this field. Some of the trees blocked it from getting 100% over here. Ten percent complete with field nineteen. Okay. We'll get it done. close to the edge. Good. Good enough. Farm sim is 50 bucks. What? <laughs> well, it's farming sim 22. It's the new one. Farm sim 19 is probably a lot cheaper if you want to buy an older one. <laughs> yeah, farm sim. I think I paid 59.99 when it came out. Oh, how nice of that car to wait for my worker to turn around. Actually, it didn't really, did it? Is he gonna go? Really should turn the damn traffic off. Oh, dude, come on! You gonna go?
person was 50 bucks. What? <laughs> What's up, Zach? Monkey King Metals. Just got back from doing the real deal farm sim. Whoa. Like, for real? You have been playing two games, mainly Fall Guys and MLB The Show. Hey, Bob, did you see the Cubs game yesterday? They did pretty good yesterday. I didn't, I don't, I don't, they didn't look today. I know the Bulls lost today. Let me see how the Cubs did today. Well, we're not going to worry about what they did today because they didn't do good today. But yesterday they did good. Doing some silage. Nice. Okay, this guy's going to keep fertilizing as long as the traffic stays away from him. This guy's harvesting like a boss. The Mariners won in 12 today. Yeah, yesterday the Cubs won 21 to nothing. 21 to zero yesterday. That's 21 runs to zero runs. I mean, today they lost four to three, but yesterday they won 21 to zero. That's not too bad. I don't think that's too bad. All right, let's get this guy going. Oh, I think a car just hit my uh, harvester. I saw the whole back of it jerk. <laughs> yeah, these uh, AI drivers are tough. While we're here, let's empty it out. is pretty much empty. Miguel Cabrera got his 3,000th hit. Really? I didn't hear that. That's good. That used to be a big deal, that 3,000 hit club. I guess it's still a big deal. I guess it's still a big deal. Now, look at this. Come on. I gotta. T I almost... I really need to turn this traffic off, don't I? This is toxic. And we can, it's like, I can't even tell where the guy left off, so I'm just going to assume it's right there somewhere. It's like, I can't even tell what's fertilized and what's not, but when it's, in, when it's already growing. I mean, the dirt gets a little tiny bit darker when you spread the fertilizer. That's about it. It's really hard to tell. But if we go to the map... If we go to the map, up. Oh, it looks like I did miss one little line right there. Oh, well, that's fine. I missed a little bit on the edge of this one. Close enough. Close enough. In the 500 home run and the 3,000 hit club. Bob Pop, I remember I used to, like, know, like, all those stats and everything, like how many home runs, like, were the highest on the list and everything, but... Once you had all the cheaters in the 90s and early 2000s, you know, wrecking the home run stats and everything a little bit, I just quit caring. Like, I used to know all the people that were in the 500 home run club when I was... Because I'd collected baseball cards, and I'd look see them on my baseball cards and everything and learn the stats and... Yep. And then they went and ruined it. But, whatever. Ah, did this guy do this again? Like, every time this guy... 
It's getting stopped by damn traffic. It's tough. Yeah, we're almost done with these fields. Okay. Getting there. Was there anything we were going to buy in here? I don't think there was. I mean, that's not a bad harvester. But it's not much better than the one we got. This would be a big improvement. But this one, eh. Again, we're not going to buy a harvester yet. Make sure you guys click that like button if you haven't done so already. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Pujols has 673, really? Yeah, I like, I've, I've always kind of liked Pujols, except that he played for St. Louis Cardinals, and I'm a Cubs fan, so you're not allowed to like, like anybody for the Cardinals if you're a Cubs fan, pretty much. So, other than him being on the Cardinals, he's pretty cool. See, so yeah, I think Willie Mays was, what, 660, I think. He was always, like, third on the list, and then... Babe Ruth was second on the list, always at 714. And then Hank Aaron had 755, was number one. That's what the stats used to be back when I was learning them. But uh, I, don't, I don't even have any idea anymore. And do you count the cheaters like Barry Bonds or not? I don't know. Do you count them? I guess some people do, don't they? I guess they do. Man, not all of Barry Bonds' home runs were cheating, I guess. And Barry Bond, the thing that sucks about Barry Bonds is he was a really good baseball player before he started cheating and taking steroids. He didn't need to do that. He would have been in the Hall of Fame without cheating. But, whatever. They'll, they'll let him in the Hall of Fame one day, you know, it's just a matter of time, and people will forget about it, and everybody will say he's the home run king. It's like, whatever. Bunch of bullshit is what it is. Bunch of fake news. Bunch of fake news. Him being number one, right? Whatever. Look at his baseball cards from the early 90s and compare it to the ones from the early 2000s. Doesn't even look like the same dude. His neck grew like eight sizes. Alright, this guy's done fertilizing. Let's go put him away. Why'd this guy stop harvesting? Did I do that accidentally? Oh shit. Didn't mean to stop him from harvesting. Alright, where do we have to deliver this contract? That's what we need to find out. We need to deliver it to the the, the GCHB grain elevator. Oh, that's where we gotta go? Okay. The GCHB grain elevator. Does anybody know where that's at? <laughs> the hell is that? The GCHB grain elevator. Let's see if we can find it on the map. Sometimes they're flashing if we're lucky. Uh. this it's 
It's not letting me select anything. That's railroad silo, lime station. Uh, what's this thing? Lime station. Biomass. Great processing. How am I supposed to find this place? Is it this one? That's railroad silo. Dude, this is all my stuff down here. It wouldn't be that. I have no idea where I'm supposed to take this full though. Hmm. Looked at that, right? Yeah. Huh. Well, hold on. We gotta look. At tip stations is what it would be. It's not that one. That's my hayloft. Hey! Railroad silo. Debris crusher. I think I've looked at all this stuff, haven't I? Where is this place? How am I supposed to find it? It's not this. It wasn't that. It's not this one, right? What the hell? I don't know where I'm supposed to sell this stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it'll start flashing on the map when I get my truck. It's not, though. Oh, you know what? There is a thing right next to field 20 that has the exclamation point. Right next to field 20. Is this it? Hold on. If so, that's awesome. It's like super close. Is it this? Is it this? Yeah, okay. Okay, there it is. It's right next to the field. Good. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Okay. That was a close call. Almost wasn't didn't know where we were supposed to go. So let's empty the harvester and we'll go drop this off in the great elevator. Let's see where we're at. Lots of canola. What's up, Sean Michaels? How you doing? I emptied that out. So let's whip this sucker around. Quickly get out of the harvester's way. Try to, try to before it stops on me. Like a boss. over here and uh, sell some canola for some reason I was in your dream uh, it sounds like maybe a nightmare hopefully not Soybeans. How do you empty the back part of this damn thing? There we go.
There we go, it's going. Doing good. I'm doing alright. Bob Pop got a D on I Am Bread. Is that good or bad? I've gotten, I haven't done really good. You got I Am Bread, Bob? <laughs> uh, what do you think of it? I think it's pretty hard because I'm not used to the controls like that, but I think I got a D on it too. Or maybe I got a C minus or maybe just a D. I don't know. I got stuck on that tree. I got to back up. The darn cars are in my way. A D. <laughs> it's better than getting an F. I guess they got. I guess that's one way to look at it. Better than, get... better than getting an F. You haven't played in over a year? Oh, I didn't know you played it before. I just thought like you saw it just on my channel and thought it was funny. I don't know, I think it's a funny game. Yo, Jordan. What's up, Jordan? Uh, tomorrow, tonight's a school night, huh? Everybody's got school tomorrow? Or work? That sucks, huh? Well, tomorrow night. 5.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Live coin Q&A. I've, I've been invited to be a guest on their show, so you can check me out there. And then we'll play some games afterwards. I don't know what we'll play. Holy crap, you posted a video about 14 hours ago? Hold on, I can't see. That's far away. Or does that say 1.4? No, 14 hours ago. And it got 100 views, huh? That's pretty good, Jordan. Hopefully you get some new subscribers and stuff off of it, too. That's always good when that happens. You were up for, like, one more hour when I ended the stream. Oh, yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I was up for several more hours after I ended yesterday. I didn't get to sleep. Guess what time I went to sleep, Bob? Guess what time I went to sleep? I'll tell you, I didn't go to bed until 6 a.m. about, about 6 a.m. And then I slept in today a whole bunch. Not good. I'm just making some tire tracks in this field for fun. Now about 6 a.m. It's crazy. First episode of a show you're making, and speaking of the show. I'm releasing the second episode in 10 hours. Alrighty then. I well, hope it goes good for you. It's fun working on the videos. Uh, yeah. Some stuff's fun to do. I just really don't like video editing, so... 
I like the videos. I can, that's why I do a lot of live streams and stuff, because then I don't have to edit anything. I just do it, and it's done. Is there anything else I need to do back at my farm while that guy's doing the heartlisting job? Anything I need to do back here? I don't think there is. I did not get up at 1.57 p.m. <laughs> it was afternoon, though. It was definitely afternoon. It was a little, it was a little bit afternoon. Pretty close, Bob. <laughs> I did sleep most of the morning. Or all the morning, I guess. Not good. So I'll probably be up again late tonight. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to get to sleep earlier though, just because I can't keep that going all week like that. Because I got stuff I got to do, and I just can't be doing that. So all these fields are pretty much ready. We got the growth there. Should have probably grown something in this little patch. It's kind of wasteful not to do it, but what I'm going to do is we have this lovely building here. Which is like a biogas thing. Yeah, biogas. Can I go up this ladder? Almost felt like it was letting me up that thing. Oh, it doesn't let me up that ladder. What about on this side? No ladder on this side. Is there a way to get up there? Like parkour? Anyway, we bought this because this is a place we can sell hay. Hi. Come on, let me up there. And then right next to this, what are we gonna put? I think we're gonna put chickens here, and maybe two of them, maybe two, two chicken coops. That's what I think we're gonna do. And then over here on the corner, once we get enough money, we're going to put a supermarket. So I think we're going to put a supermarket down first. With the sale point pointing this way. And then we'll see how we can fit the chicken coops in there best. That makes most sense. And then someday, and someday soon perhaps, right here next to the thing here, we're going to put... A flour mill and then we'll put a bakery and then maybe we'll put an oil mill and then maybe if there's room we'll put something else too I don't know what we're gonna do I don't know I don't know I don't know you got up at 9 10 a.m. really that's pretty early Bob you don't need to be getting up early for games now they start later, you can get up at like 5.45. How late does your game start? That's like really late. Like you got to play at night? I was trying to say he's going to play at night. That doesn't seem good. Shannon Smith got up at 1.41 p.m. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got up about 1. Somewhere around 1. The sun was up when I went to sleep, though. I don't know if it was totally up, but it was getting light out. That sucked.
<laughs> yeah, right, Shannon? It does suck. Okay, we're almost done with this field. We're getting there. What's the contract say? How close are we? It's saying 70% complete. That's pretty good. Now we can boost that completion if we just go sell what's in here right now, and let's go do that. Let's just go do that. Drop that soybeans in there. You like to see the sun come up, Bob? <laughs> Your sleep schedule's messed up again? Fix it! <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Let's stay up all night watching video games. We're staying up all night playing video games. Alright, we got 76% transported. So now we should be up higher on our completion. Oh yeah, we're up at 81% complete now. Yeah, 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 Back in January and February of 2021, you were good. Hold on a second, I gotta read this. You were getting up at like 11.30 a.m. and then getting out of bed at 12. Oh yeah, so that's always the struggle, right, Bob? It's like you can get up by at a certain time, but then when do you really like get out of bed and start the day? Yeah, sometimes those aren't the same time. Same time, you know. Sometimes, uh, sometimes getting on out of bed's the struggle. It can be. And that was back in January of last year. <laughs> yeah. I don't know when I woke up yesterday, let alone back in January of 2021. What I do know, Bob, but what I do know and what I'm confident of is I'm confident that I can use a nice drink of cool water right now. Stay hydrated, and I'm going to do that right now. So cold, so good, so refreshing. Mr. Awesome Sauce. What's up? You don't work until 3 p.m.? Get off at 1 a.m. Ooh. Got the late shift, huh? Well, that works for some people, though. That works good for people. But you hate your weekends off. What? But then on March 2nd, that'd be 2ND, not 2ED. 2ND, March 2nd. You get up and it was 11, 11 a.m.? You think so? On March 2nd, you woke up at 11, 11? Did you set your alarm for 11-11, or did you just happen to get up at 11-11? <laughs> Alright, doing this field was a lot of extra work and cut, put a little delay on harvesting our own stuff. But I think it's going to pay off, and I hope we'll be able to see that soon. Because right now we got $163,000.
we'll see what we end up with after this contract. Now the contract says it'll pay us 13,800. We borrowed equipment, so we should net at least 12 grand. But if we get to keep any of these soybeans as our own, which it usually lets us if we do a good job harvesting, we could make anywhere from an extra 5 to 25,000 on top of that, I believe. And we'll see what that number is going to be. We'll see. So the weekend just because you sleep way too much on Sunday night to get back into your sleep. Yeah. A rock miner in Iowa, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that'd be tough going from, like, that schedule deck to, like, a normal day because, like, what do you do tonight? Do you go to bed early and then wake up? early tomorrow and then just get really really t you know then you're really really tired by the end of work or do you stay up really late tonight wake up at noon or one or two in the afternoon tomorrow then run go to work and then you know then that when you're done with work you still you're still alert you know i don't know i mean it's, i don't know what i'd rather do i don't know on father's day nothing to do with father's day it was just on that day we started getting up at like 7:30. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're playing Lego Star Wars? Nice. I watched Noah official play a little bit of that. I think he played it for like one or two days and then I haven't seen him play it again. The Skywalker saga, saga, you're about to end Revenge of the Sith. Wasn't Revenge of the Sith uh, the prequel? Wasn't that like part three? I think that was episode three. That's not part of Skywalker. That's I don't know what Skywalker Saga is then, I guess. I thought that would have been like episodes four, five, and six. The, the real movies. Or is Skywalker Saga like all of the episodes? Because it's all about Luke Skywalker. Well, his family at least. It's all the movies in the game. Okay. So it's all nine movies is the Skywalker Saga? Okay. Guess I can get on board with that. Bob Pop, do you really know that you've woke up at these times? Or are you just making up stories now? Because you say, and then one night to go to a Mariners game, you got up at 10.30 a.m. Then when you started watching Noah, you were getting up at 8 a.m. Hmm. You're playing it in order, huh? Yeah, I saw Noah play. I think he started on episode four. Well, that's what... Well, Shawn Michaels, you say you're playing it in order... What order are you playing in? Are you playing the order one through nine, or are you playing it in the order the movies came out? Because that's a different order. I would always, I would probably play it in the order the movies came out. That seems to make sense. But I guess you could make an argument to play it in chronological order as well. Playing it one through nine. Yeah, I started sleeping in then, Bob. Good. No, the prequels first, then the OG, then the bad Disney movies. Okay. <laughs> you didn't like the Disney movies? I take it. <laughs> I liked, uh... I mean, they were okay. They weren't that great. Definitely the OG ones are the best. Um, I liked the Rogue One, though. I thought Rogue One was really good. I'd watch that if it came on again. 
But I guess that's not one of the official movies, or I don't know what they, what that's supposed to be. But I liked Rogue One. Shannon Smith likes Jar Jar. I bet he does. I bet you do. I bet you got like a Jar Jar on your desk. I bet. And now you need to start getting to bed earlier because you got baseball. Well, that's important. You got to be well rested for the ball, for the ball fields. Rogue One was good because the actual people made it. Oh. Shannon's got a Jar Jar bobblehead. I bet you do. Probably got it like in the 90s from like Burger King or something for buying like a Whopper meal. Rogue One is Star Wars 3.5. Hi, Alfred. <laughs> yeah, I liked Rogue One. I didn't... I, I, I tried to watch the Han Solo movie. I hated that movie. Like, that movie was horrible. Like, I don't even think I ever watched it all at once in one sitting. Like, I tried to, and it's just bad. I don't know if anybody likes the Han Solo movie. I thought it was horrible. Like, really bad. We're at 96% complete. So I gotta go... Dump this up. Are they making any more Star Wars movies? They're probably going to make a whole bunch of them because that's what Disney does. Oh, and Disney tells people uh, how to raise their kids and what they should be taught in schools. But that's another story. We don't talk politics or anything, do we? Today, 17 years ago, was the first YouTube video ever. Really? Really? My YouTube channel is over 15 years old. So I'm like an OG on YouTube. I was there in the first, uh, the first two years. Is that what you're trying to tell me? All right, we're going to get up to 100% complete. We're going to see if we get to keep any of these soy mains. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. There we go. Money. Look at all the money. Oh, that's not that much money. Only 7,300 bucks. And then we get how much more? Uh, that's not as much as I thought. 4,700. Yeah, that sucks. All right. So we're done with that contract. Complete. Collect. Well, we got 187,000 now, so... I mean, it was about 25 grand we got doing that contract. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's go to the next day. There's nothing else for us to do here. Could fill these up with water, but we're good. You cried when Jar Jar Binks died, Shannon Smith? What? Come on. <laughs> or are you talking about Han Solo, probably? And when Carrie Fisher died? But they don't ever die. They they're just become force ghosts, don't they? I don't remember what happened to them, but don't they just become force ghosts and they live on? I don't know. I don't even get that. All right, we're in November now. I think now is when we got to start kicking the clock up just a little bit. How do you do this? Time scale. We'll go five times real time for a little bit. Check our greenhouses that make us a little bit of money. We're up to $192,000. Take a look at our field. It's November. We've got an 80% yield bonus over here. We're short of our 100% yield bonus because we didn't do plowing or rolling. 
Over here we got 80% uh, yield bonus for similar reasons. Everything's looking great. The birds are eating our seeds, as you would expect. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series is coming out in May. What? Why would we want to watch that? What's that going to be about? Is that going to be about him living on that desert planet all by himself and then checking up on little Luke every now and then? Is that, that How boring would that shit be? YouTube was made February 14th, but first video was April 24th. So there was nothing on YouTube for like over two months? That's weird. Where have all the farming fans gone? I don't know. There must be some wheel going on or something. Alfred thought you and McGregor was a great Obi-Wan. Oh, you cried when Han Solo died. Yeah, but she died in real life. And Han Solo, no, because he was not a Jedi. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, well. I don't... Th I, well, I, I think... I, no, the real answer is no, because Harrison Ford is a dickhead and just didn't want to be in the movies. So he told them to kill off his character right away. I'm pretty sure that's how it really went down. You really think, like, yeah, come on. He just didn't want to be in the movies because he's a jerk. All right, here's contracts. Any of these contracts we want to do? Probably not. Fertilizing jobs are real easy. We could do those. But I think we want to check the used tractors first. We don't want either of these pieces right here. A header for harvester. That's only for corn, corn and uh, sunflowers though. Hey, Matt eighty three, can you get a loan? Yeah, if we go here to um to get loans, we already took a loan. That's what we're trying to make money. Um, I have a three hundred twenty five thousand dollar loan I owe to the bank. We're paying one thousand eighty three a month in interest. So uh, we're in the hole. We're in the hole a bit. But I'm not paying down my loan at all right now because if a good tractor comes up on the used tractor market, I gotta buy it. I gotta buy it. I gotta buy it. Gotta. I gotta. <laughs> What's going on, Matt? Uh, Bob Hub in the first video is you at the zoo. Oh, you made the first video on YouTube? I don't believe that, Bob Bob. The first video on YouTube was before you were born, young man. Right. <laughs> Similar to the movie The Martian. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, that could have been... He's a bit of a jerk. Well, it's sad to see the old character die. Yeah. No, I mean, well, yeah, but it's like... Han Solo... Or Harrison Ford didn't want to be in the movie, so what are you going to do? All right, we're going to skip ahead. There's nothing for us to do right now. We're going to skip to... Where's my house? Where's my house? That's over here. We're going to skip to the next month. Let's go. Yeah, only nine people watching. My channel sucks, doesn't it? What do I got to do to get a, like... Should I play Rocket League instead? Maybe I, maybe I should have played Rocket League tonight. Then I would have got more viewers. That's all right. We got some cool people in here. Hey, happy coach, how you doing? And the two video, the second video was the first fall. I, mean, I don't know what that means. First fall, you think fall guys? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, look at this, 8 a.m. in December, it's still a little dark out. That's pretty wild. Let's go check up on my crops. Man, it's too, too dark. I should have woke up at 9 a.m. You know what I'll do? I think I gotta get my tractor here anyway. Put on some lights. No, that's my blinker. There we go. Let's go get some water. Nicholas Cage is the new Han Solo. Is that what's gonna happen? Well, I don't know. They had that dude be Han Solo in the Han Solo movie. I thought that movie was terrible. I didn't even know who half the characters were in the movie. That's probably why. Like, I didn't know who all the people were. And then Han Solo had this girlfriend that was, uh... It, wasn't it Khaleesi from uh, Game of Thrones? Like, who the hell was she? 
Why was she in the movie? I think that's what it was. What? I don't even know if was it his girlfriend. I don't know what it was. Matt says that uh, two longs don't. Well, I guess that's. Uh, oh, I was reading Matt's thing and I got crashed my tractor. That does make sense. That does make sense. Matt, did you know there once was a man from China who wasn't a very good climber? He slipped on a rock and broke off his cock, and now he's got a vagina? Did you ever hear that one? That's a good one. All right. Bob Bob says, hi, Rob. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just drove over here. There's already water in this truck. Damn it. That's wasteful. But I guess we'll top it off. Minus one perception. What's up, Dutch? <laughs> you like that one, Dutch lizard? <laughs> Make sure you guys click that like button if you haven't done so already. I would appreciate it. Someone just wanted to give Amelia Clark a roll of the movie to see her every day. Can't blame them for it. Was that what it was? Was like she like the one of the producer's girlfriends or something? Why the pony can't say? Oh, because he's a little horse. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a reason. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, we're gonna go dump water into our greenhouses, and then we'll check the used tractor market. And if there's nothing there, we'll skip ahead to January. We will get to harvesting. We will. Or my name ain't Nathan Arizona. Oh wow, that was a lot of water we just drained out of this one. Should probably go get another water tank. Another load. Let's see what we got. Ooh, there's a little tractor. We don't need a little tractor. We need a big tractor. We need a big tractor. What do we got here? Subsoiler. We got a header for a forage harvester. We got a forage wagon. Too bad we already own one of those. Ooh, and another harvester. Another harvester. These I would really like to have this, but it's too much money, and I need to save that money for a better tractor. So we will not be buying those. We will not be buying those. I forgot, how much money does it cost just if I filled up water right here? Let's see. I don't think it's that much, is it? I just know it takes a lot longer to fill up at this thing, though. Most of my viewers are watching Wheels play in Fall Guys, or... They're all playing Fall Guys. SDHS is loading up tomorrow. What does that even mean, Bob? What do you mean SDHS is uploading? Oh, they're uploading a video? What do you mean? What do you mean they're uploading a video? <laughs> How do you know? Just because they do the daily announcements for the school and put them on YouTube? <laughs> Everything is different, but the same. Things are more moderner than before. Bigger and yet smaller. It's computers. <laughs> Sandy was high school football rules. <laughs> Bob, do you really watch the San Dimas High School's daily announcements on YouTube? And if so, why? But if you, again, if you check the 2020 graduation ceremony they have on their page, if you check it, um, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter are in it, wishing the graduating class best of luck, and he, they tell them to be excellent to each other, and to party on, dudes. I guess I just ruined it, but they do say all that. 
Okay, it cost me $730 to fill my tank right here. It's probably not worth doing that. It's probably better just to go fill up for free at the pond around the corner. I knocked over that sign. Where'd it go? I knocked over that sign. Is it stuck under my vehicle? I don't know where that sign went. I don't know. But let's uh, get the hell out of here. Go to January. It says, yes, I do watch the announcements. Uh, and if I see the people in the school in real life someday, I can say, <laughs> okay. Got any British crowns or sovereigns that you can do a spinning coin video tomorrow? It's St. George's Day. Oh, you know what I do got? Did I do a video on my channel of the 2013 uh, British one ounce with the St. George design, with the Pastrucci's design? Did I do a video of that or not? Did I do a video of that or not? Because that's St. George, and instead of having the... He's got the sword in his hand, the little sword. I don't know if I've done a video of that. If so, I might be able to do that tomorrow. I'd have to search my channel. I guess I'd just have to go to my channel and search 2013 and see if that pops up. I think I might have done a video of that. Bob, can't, Bob Pop can't start his day without knowing San Dimas High School news, right? Oh, that's kind of... <laughs> and it's news put on by, like, some seniors or some students in the class. <laughs> it's probably horrible news. All right. Oh, hold on, hold on. We might be getting something here. We don't want an auger wagon. Okay, we don't want that. We don't need a baler. And we don't need a manure spreader. Damn! All that's good for is spreading shit all over the place. Who needs one of them? Who needs that? Happy Coach says, Kittle, remember when you played Fall Guys and the game kept crashing? Yeah, like every time I've streamed in the last month and a half or something like that, since they've done the epic uh, friend overlay thing. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I played last night, and it crashed like three times, or two or three times. You're playing A New Hope right now, says Shawn Michaels. Uh, well, rebellions are uh, built on hope, aren't they? Don't they? Something like that. Bob Pop says, it's what's going on in the school and telling you what to read. <laughs> Bob, but you don't go to school there. You don't go to school there. <laughs> No, it's been be it's it's been since before the new launcher, Happy Coach. It's not it has nothing to do with the new launcher. It has everything to do with hitting that. You know how when you hit the touchpad, it brings up that epic overlay. It has everything to do with that. Everything to do with that. I've done a lot of videos on Canadian dollars. Yeah, those Canadian tone dollars. I got like four or five more that I haven't done videos on. Ooh, look at a thirteen thousand dollar cultivating job. That's pretty easy. You just hook the tractor up to the cultivator and let the worker do that. But if I wasn't streaming right now, I would definitely do that just to get the money and go walk away and go do something else like do a video on my coin channel. But we're streaming. I don't want to do that. You don't want to sit there and watch that thing cultivate for an hour. So we're going to February. What if you're a teacher someday? What would you like to teach, Bob? Do you want to be a teacher? Okay, $206,000. We're making money. We could probably start filling these up again at some point. Let's look at this real quick. There's a sewing job in February? Oh yeah, cotton. We can plant cotton. 
think that's the only thing we can plant right now, right? Yeah, February, the only thing you can plant is cotton. Hmm. 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 Be a teacher and in my class. It's how to get better at Fall Guys. You're going to teach Fall Guys? Bob, I don't think you're going to find somewhere that's going to teach you how to... You're going to... Where you're going to teach people how to play Fall Guys. I don't think there's a job for that in the world. I don't think that's a real job, is what I'm trying to say. All right, here we go. We got uh, a header for a forage harvester, a trailer, a medium-sized tractor, I believe. I already own one of these. Ooh, a bigger tractor. Ooh, is this the one we're going to get? The Series 8 TTV. Ooh. Ooh, look at that license plate, Bob. Look at that license plate, KGG420. I think we might get this. Oh, I could do the warrior configuration. What's the difference between that? It just looks cooler, right? Or an extra five grand? No, I don't want to purchase it yet. I want to I was looking at the colors. I want to look at the colors. Oh, you can pick the colors. What's Java Green look like? Oh, look at that, dude! Check that out. Dude. Are you kidding me? It's the 8280 Warrior. I don't know what the difference is with the Warrior. I think it's just mostly cosmetic. Hmm. No 2013 video on a UK coin? Huh. The Aussie Steak. Oh, I might have to do that then. I might have to do it. Because it's the one that's on my website. It's on my website under Great Britain on the World Coin page for 300 bucks. It's a silver coin. And I know they go for a lot more on eBay now. I just haven't updated my website forever. And actually, I just sold that coin today. That's why it was fresh in my mind. I just sold that coin today. Someone asked me about it. And I had to make sure I still had it. So. Interesting. Exclamation point website, I believe, would be the thing. Uh, uh-oh, it's Darth Vader. Oh, Darth Vader's in your game. Yeah, that's what happens. Kittle, what if you started... Making, M-A-K-I-N-G, no E in making. Making it that we needed to give you $20 to play with you. How many people play with you then? I'm sure some people still will. Bob Pop, there's a lot of channels that do that. There's a lot of channels that say, uh, and Noah Official, I believe, is one of them. Noah Official is one of them. That says, if you're a channel member, you get preference on being in my party. And I know some channels, like... You have to be like a high level member, like to even get invites or to become get friend requests, and so I could do that. I could definitely do that. Um, what I could do, Bob Pop, is next time I play Fall Guys, say you can't be on my party. I'll only invite people that are channel members, and it's first come first serve. Or if more than three channel members want to be in my party, then I'll only invite the ones that are spirals or spicy chicken members. And then yeah, so then if you want to play with me, you're gonna have to be a channel member, which. You would have to pay me money. And I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. I'd rather, you know, not do that right now, I don't think. But I don't know. I wouldn't 100% rule it out. All right. What we got to look at first, though. This is the Series 8 TTV. I want to look at this in the new tractors just to compare what else is available on the market. I think it's a large tractor. No, maybe it's not. Is this just a medium tractor? If it's just a medium tractor, then maybe I'll hold out for a large tractor. Oh, it's just a medium tractor. Oh, it's the biggest medium tractor. Uh, yeah, it's only got 287 horses. That's short for horsepower. Ooh. Your sister got you a crown for your birthday a few years ago. Such a cool day. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that video because I don't think I have any sovereigns. Do I have any British sovereigns? I don't know. Do 
Do I have anything else with St. George on it? Tomorrow's St. George's Day, really? Really? I think I might pass on this tractor. 236000 for that. I can get it for about 130 so I can save hundred grand. What I really want to do is wait until one of these big suckers is in there. One of these three, four hundred thousand dollar tractors is in there and get that at half price. Something with a little more horsepower. This one's actually pretty cheap. Two seventeen for that? Why is this one so cheap? I don't know. It's pretty cool though. Big old. Dude, that's kind of cool. Look at this. We put the big front weight on it, 750 kilos. And then as soon as I remove the front weight, like you can tell the suspension just like isn't weighed down anymore. The whole front just raises up. That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm not going to buy. I I'm just... We're gonna we're gonna skip this stuff. I think that is tempting though to get that tractor for 130 grand. Use another medium tractor around because what's the tractor I got right now? I think I got a medium tractor. Is this the one we got, or is that the one? What's the one we got? Hold on. This one, the Vulture 8750. Where's that at on the list? That's this one here, I believe. So this is our best tractor that we have right now. It's $108,000 new. And it has 190 horsepower. We could then be up to something that has 287. So it would be a pretty big upgrade from what we got. It would be a pretty big upgrade. Oh, shoot. Shoot. What if there was a streamer that was mad at me for giving $100 and they said, give me more or you're banned? So, Bob Pop, so you're saying in this scenario, you give me $100 and then I'd get mad at you or I'm going to ban you? Well, then you should then you should unsubscribe and never watch that person. That's, that's what I would do. If anybody ever asks you for money or gets mad at you for not giving enough money... What you do is say, all right, fuck you very much, sir, and then, like, unsubscribe and never watch them again. That's that's probably what you should do. You only know that because you saw a flag of St. George's Cross this weekend and surprisingly on the Canadian calendars. <laughs> uh, that would be an upgrade on our tractor. Let me see here, though. What would, what would we get if we sold this little guy and this little guy? What if we just sell both of these? Because if we sell both of these to buy the other one, maybe that's a good deal, huh? Like, could we get a hundred grand if we sold both of these and we're barely spending any money on the new one? Let's look. Let's go into my garage. Owned items, small tractors. This one's 43,000. Okay, there's 43. They called the other one a medium tractor and 54. So we can get almost 100 grand selling both of those. And then we can swing that into the other tractor. I think that's what we do. Do we get anything for selling the house? Yes, I think we can get... Um, well, let's look. Uh, it doesn't show us here. I, we, I, I know how we can find out. We go right here. We go to construction. We go over here. I hope I don't fuck this up. Do this wrong. Select. We would get $164,315. Which is crazy. $164,315. I'm going to hit back and not do that. Um... That seems like a lot of money. We go to farmhouses. We can buy a brand new one. 
We could buy a brand new farmhouse for 150. Why is this one more than a brand new one? Isn't that weird? A brand new one's 150. Rotate. How do you rotate this thing? There you go. It's the same house. Like. It's the same damn house. Why? Like. I mean. Should I sell it and then put another one down and make 14,000 bucks? Um, I think I should, but I'm not going to because I know this game is weird for building. So if I sell this, there'll be an empty spot here. And then just knowing this game, I wouldn't be able to set another one right back down in the, in the same spot. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But what they did add to the game, which was not in the game when it first came out, is right here. So I could sell this house for 160 grand and in its place, put down this, a little trailer. And then I can save at the trailer for only 20 grand. So if I was all just about money and didn't care how about how my farm looked at all, I'd sell the house and put down maybe three more greenhouses and then just put a trailer like right here. And maybe that's what we should do. You know? I don't know. Just drop down the... Just drop down a 20,000. But anyway, that's... That's that. I'm going to go sell these two tractors. And I know we get more money if we take them to the store. So the store is right up the road. I'm going to sell these two. I'm going to get that used one. Get 20 people to move it? You're saying Shannon streams are good? What are you talking about? Thank you for eight subs. Oh, you're up to eight now? You'll get back up where you were. Okay, L3 to open vehicle options. Oh, see here it's 60,000 if we sell it. Oh yeah, X to sell. Do I really want to sell? Yes, I really do, okay. to sell this one. So yeah, you definitely get more money taking it to the shop. Which is weird. Yeah, at least in the last game you could actually go in the house. Couldn't really do anything in the house, but you could see all your surfboards and stuff. Shannon's only got one stream on his channel called Test. I guess the test didn't go well. Or he'd still be streaming, maybe. I don't know. And this is 47,000. Sell it! Now we're up to 314 large. Now we can go in to the Tracta. How do you do this again? This button. Go buy this used tractor for 130, and it barely, barely cost us any money then, because we sold. But we lost one tractor basically. We went sold two and got one. But this thing's got two big ass beacon lights on the top. So what about configuration? What do we think here? Do we want the standard model, or do we want the warrior? I think I don't know what it, the difference is, but I think we just want the warrior, right? I think we like we always want the warrior. Got some crazy colors on the back corner. I'm not sure what that's all about. And what color tractor are we gonna do? Let's bling it up a little. Wheel setup standard, or we want wheel weights or wide tires. I'm just gonna go standard. Whoa, twin rears, dude. That looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? That's an extra eight grand though. Twin wheels all around. Oh, look at that. That's cool. 
It's an extra 11 grand. Now we're just going to do standard. We're just going to do standard on this one. Main color. I think, hey, look, there's a matte green. Hi, Matt. Shouldn't it be M-A-T-T-E instead of M-A-T-T? -T? And a matte black. Nah. I think I'm going to go with that crazy-ass green color. Java green. There we go. That looks styling. What about the rim color? What color can we change the rims to? Black? Oh, yeah. Let's do black rims. We're getting it. Bye. I bought it. I wonder if I can pull my plow now. I bet I can. Bob Pop, I still don't understand why you don't have your... Oh, wow, this tractor's fast! I still don't understand how you lost your account. I still don't understand that. I mean, you didn't. It's still there. If I look up Bob Pop, I still see the, see it there. You didn't lose it. Look at that realistic beacons reflecting off my shed. Realism. Keeping it real. Aight, let's go sleep. Let's go sleep till March. <coughs> Excuse me. There are some channels just hit the live and leave it running. See that in the best of the best? Yeah, I see that. I've seen that before. You don't know the six digit code. And you can't have that reset somehow, or have it sent to a different phone number, or... <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way to, to get it back. Alright, so here we are. We're in March now. Right now we can start planting some stuff if we had some open space and fields but we're gonna wait to harvest our wheat and canola there are some sewing jobs wow we could get thirty four thousand dollars if we went to field 26 and planted sunflowers wow wow it's a huge field I really want to do that, but that'd take forever, too. And that's not going to make a good stream. Yeah, you, Bob, when you set it up, it had to be tied to some email address or some phone number. If you have either the email or the phone number, you should be able to get that back. And if you can't get it back easily, you should contact... You should help people at YouTube and say, hey, look, I can't get my account. I don't have that phone anymore, or I don't have that email address anymore, or see if they'll help you. I don't know. You don't have a phone number? Well, then where is it sending a six-digit code to it? Doesn't it tell you where it's sending it? That doesn't make sense. All right, what do we got in here? We got, got a tank that holds piss. That's a piss tank. Or, or digestate, it will hold. Well, it's actually slurry or digestate. Slurry is liquid feces to liquid manure. Uh, Pottinger Faro, that's a, a little forage wagon. And then we got a header for a forage harvester. And then we got a machine that'll uh, pick up. I think that's uh, for forage harvester. For What does this thing do? I don't know what this thing does. I think it just shoots uh, stuff up into a truck. We don't need it, though. I know that much. I know we don't need it, so let's go to April. 
So it's all connected to your email. So... Not sure... Not sure why you can't get your account then. You have your email, right? Did you just try it and you just got back in? Come on, Bob. <laughs> Come on, man. What are we gonna do? <laughs> so do we all need to, like, sub to your other account now? You're gonna make me change your command? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, what do we got going on here? Wow, look at that. Tater Harvester. 269 grand, and that's 55% off the normal price. Holy cheese and rice. Still got sewing to do if we wanted to do. Go fertilize a field and get 13 grand real quick. Should be doing all those. We should be doing all those fertilizing jobs. Seven grand for that one. Thirteen for that one. That's an easy twenty grand. But it takes time. It just takes time, and I don't want to do it right now. Wait, did something else just change there? No. Okay. Use vehicles. I don't want to do any of this stuff. Let's go. You put in the email and then it asks you for a code. Yeah, it asks you for a code, but it tells you, like, it's two-factor authentication is what it's called. I believe that's what it's called. Um, you're, it's supposed to be sending that code to another e It's supposed to be sending you an email with that code. Check your spam email, your junk email, or it's sending it to another email, or it's sending it to a phone, or it's sending it to the Google Authenticator app. That you can get it's sending it somewhere doesn't it tell you where it's sending that six digit code and you know what maybe you just keep opening it and trying new codes because if there's only six digits there's only one million possibilities of what that code could be so if you did it one million times you'll eventually get the right code but that now nah, don't do that you'll probably get locked out of it before that happens you could brute force you brute force it and get in it and get in it. <laughs> More fertilizing jobs. Jeez, that's good good work there. Now Shannon, the code he gave us is his new channel. His old channel he's locked out of. You got a lot of it's telling you not just one. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. It should be giving you one code. Like, right when you go, try to log in, it should give you a code right now that's only good for, like, the next few minutes or something like that. That's how it works. That's how it works. Another manure spreader. And a tree log. Uh, excuse me. Tree log transporter. We don't want that. So, we're going to skip. We're going to skip ahead. April showers. Bring May flowers. Oh, we're in June now. Okay. What month are we going for? Uh, here's a slurry distributor and... What is this thing? A planter? Yeah, cedar. We don't need that. I don't think we need that one. Does this one also fertilize? I don't think this one fertilizes as well. No, we don't want that one. Hmm. So what month are we aiming for again? We're aiming for uh, July. One more month and we get the harvest. So let's not jack around. Let's just go to the next month so we can start harvesting.
Let you get in your Gmail, but not your YouTube, huh? Yeah, I don't know. It's all the same Google account. That's all your... So, if you're getting... You gotta figure out where it's at. It, it tells you where it sends you the code, though, Bob. It'll say, we sent a code to your phone ending and whatever. Or we sent a code to your Gmail. Or we sent a code... You gotta find out where they send that code. And then look there. And you say you have a bunch of codes. You just enter in the last code you got. That's it. That's it. Right, let's actually go in here real quick. and This is the month we got tons of work to do, so let's put time back down to real time. And then... Then I think we just start uh, harvesting, right? Looking good. We're harvesting. What do we got for contracts this month? Fertilizing job. Of course, the big expensive fertilizing job's gone. Bastards. Bastards. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept on... I'm going to accept... Six. I'm going to accept fertilizing on 15. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I don't think I want to do these cultivating jobs. And I'm going to do 10 as well. 10. Okay. So now I'm going to grab this tractor, my older tractor. Take my fertilizer up. And uh, do some work. We're going to do some jobs. Let's go! The last code does not work now. Hmm. Then is when you go to YouTube help and you get to do a like a little chat with one of the people that works at YouTube and you tell them, look, I'm in my Gmail right now, brah. It's not letting and I get the and I get the code and it says the code doesn't work. What do I do? And see what they'll do for you. Yeah, I would delete all the codes you got. Click the button to get a code sent to you, like Shannon says. Check your spam and junk, too, to make sure it's not in there. And whatever code they send you. Or don't do it right now if you've just gotten, like, a whole bunch of codes sent to you. Wait, like, a little bit. Wait 15 minutes. Wait a half hour. Wait till tomorrow. Do something like that. And then... I'm going the wrong way here. Let's turn around. Whoa. And then you'll know that that's the right code when it gets sent to you right then and there. Because if you got an email full of codes, you're just getting confused. It's another one. Okay, well, whatever one it is, Bob, whatever one it is. Wherever they send you the code. I don't know where they're going to send you the code. Just trying to help you. But I wouldn't give up on it. The account's still there. You still got access to your Gmail. You didn't get kicked off YouTube or anything. If, figure it out. Alright, 
we're gonna get up here to this field right here and get fertilizing. This is gonna be expensive. We're okay. We're starting out with 200 grand. Let's see where we end up with this. We're spending money on fertilizer as we do this. That's a hilly field too. Damn. Back had to do something. All right. Welcome back. Does Bob pop Gmail like Mikey does? I have no idea. Mikey's Gmails are funny. He just puts everything in the subject line. Mikey doesn't send me email anymore. He just does all Discord now. Mikey's all about that Discord. All right, we got uh, a lot of straw coming down now. Do we want to start sucking up that straw just yet? I guess we do. There's nothing else for us to do right now with this tractor, so let's do it. Try to get ahead a little bit. Wow, this tractor's so fast. He's all about the discords, for sure. But what will you do with that, YouTube? I have no idea, Bob Pop. I guess say, write down the name and password and all the information for it, just in case something happens to your main account, and then you can always use that as a backup, I guess. And you can use that one as a place to... Uh... But what I would do, Bob Pop, is if you get your main account back, Right? If you get your main account back, which you should be able to, I don't see why you can't. Once you get your main account back on this account you're on right now, I would change the name of that account to, you know, something a little bit different. Just so when people search for Bob Pop, exclamation, exclamation, they don't see two of the exact same channels and get confused. Like, before, like, once you get your main account back, change the name and profile picture of this one that you have right now just so it's not confusing for people I think that would be a power move we are beginning a big harvest here at Kittle Farms lots of harvest Suck it up some straw, too. You're telling him to change his name to Bob Pop? <laughs> Okay, there's a load of straw. Let's go empty it out. Oh, this tractor's great. I love this dude tractor. I'm glad we bought it. I do want a bigger tractor. I need one that's even bigger. Because I don't know if this is going to be able to plow our, plow our fields or not. I hope it is. I think we'll be able to plow the fields. We're going to find out. Twenty-four hundred bucks worth of, uh, straw. This guy's full. Yeah, Gringo does like his exclamation points, I think. Or was it that he didn't like it? It was one of the two. He either really likes it or he hates it. I can't remember. I can't remember. He either loves it or he hates it.
Yeah, this harvester kind of sucks. But it's getting the job done. It's getting the job done. Craig's still here. 13 viewers up in the chat. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Glad you guys are here on this beautiful Sunday evening here on Kittle Farms. said negative on the exclamations well it's a good thing that gringo ain't the boss of me <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't like the exclamations this is funny <laughs> I think it's kind of funny Might do some Ewok hunting later. <laughs> oh, man. Do you stop doing hype? I don't care if you do it on my channel, Bob. But I know that the mods don't like it when you did it on Rob Finds Treasures channel. I'll tell you that. Hi, Rob. Yeah, some of the mods were deleting those comments. May or may not have been green go. I can't confirm or deny that. <laughs> Alfred, as the stormtrooper, what I've found to be a little bit more successful is you gotta turn off your flashlight. You gotta. Now, I know that's not good for me as a streamer because then nobody can see what the hell's on the screen, probably. But if you turn off your flashlight and kind of hide a little bit more or stay off to the side of the rest of the stormtroopers standing out in the open with all their lights on, you'll be able to see when the other stormtroopers start getting hit by the Ewoks and then you'll just then shoot the Ewoks. But yeah, don't, have, don't run around with your... Or don't stand around in the middle of with your flashlight on. Gringo is not in the stream, so he can say, Hi. "Well, he might be here. You don't know if he's lurking." Possible. He might be lurking. You want them to know where you are. <laughs> well, I think that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Well, no, I know they can see in the dark, but if you still have your light off, it's harder for them to see you. And if you try to hide a little bit, like get up against a tree or go into the bushes, it makes it harder for them to see you. Of course it does. Of course it makes it harder. And the harder you make it for them, you know, this makes sense. Come on, then. Wait, you get points for spotting an Ewok with your flashlight? Oh, I didn't know that. Really? Oh, they can go up on the bridges? Oh, they, they can climb up into the Ewok houses? See, I didn't know any of this. Sell that straw. This person's almost done. Let's look at the contract. Ninety-three percent. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, it stopped selling when I did that. Better. You should get points when you use the Ewok senses. It shows you your body heat. There's nowhere you can hide. What? Well, I don't know. I was doing a little bit better when I would see like three stormtroopers standing all together with their flashlight on. And then I would turn my light off and go stand like in the bushes over to the side. They would all go for the stormtroopers with their lights on and then I'd start shooting the Ewoks. I'm telling you, I did better. And then once you start getting hit by the Ewoks, you gotta kinda point your gun down because they're little they're tiny and they're like close to the ground. I learned that. You can't just start shooting straight out. Oh, you can start punching too. Hmm. I think the Ewoks need some better weapons, is what they need. Like, for real. The AI worker Jay completed their task. Now let's go over, I think, Field 10 is the next closest. So let's right over here. There's field six closest. Let's go to ten. There's some hilly fields. Screw that, man. BP says, <laughs> got a new channel name already, Bob Pop? Rob is fun to watch a little. What? I'm sure Rob um, would be a little bit thankful that you said that a little <laughs> it's fun to watch a little that's funny all right there's field 10 for getting fertilized let's go empty out our harvest no we're not going to empty out our harvest yeah we are we're right here at the silo may as well empty it I get out of this now. Then like the Austin Powers backing up in the cart. Okay. Let's do this a little smarter like this then. There we go. Let's go. Need to play more Fallout. It's been so long you gotta start over. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. How does he opening coins so how does he open coins so fast? Uh just does a lot. He does it so he does two streams a week opening coins, Bob Pop. If you do anything a whole bunch, you'll get better at it. And he's not looking at every single coin very closely. He's quickly going through, looking at the dates, and then if it's certain dates, he'll look at those more closely. But most of them are garbage. You see how quickly he goes through and throws all of them in the dump box. There's not that much to find. It's, they're almost all just boring, plain 50 cent coins, 50 cent pieces that are worth 50 cents. So he's able to go through quickly. Now, if he was going through a different denomination like Lincoln cents or Jefferson nickels or something else, there's more stuff to look for. You can't go that fast, but half dollars you'd go super, you can go real fast. There's just nothing to find except silver. Or there's a couple dates that have varieties that are worth looking for. Other than that, 95 to 99% of the coins in that box are junk. 50%, 50 cent 
They're just 50 cents. That's all they're worth. So you can look through them and get rid of them immediately. They have bad weapons. That's why you die as a stormtrooper. You turn into an Ewok. Higher numbers are successful, so first Ewoks gotta get some helpers. I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> British Petroleum is what you're gonna call him? Jeez. How many coins does he have? I don't know, Bob. I don't know. But I mean, if he doesn't keep all those, he takes them back to the bank. And gets different ones. He just keeps getting different ones over and over. And but if you look at all the coins... I know he's looked at millions of coins in the last couple of years. Millions of coins. But does he have millions of coins? I don't know. I doubt that. It's possible. I don't know how many he's kept. Oops, wrong button. Lower pick up, that's what we're gonna do. There we goes. No, I know he's looked through millions of half dollars in the last couple of years. But he gets boxes, and then he takes them back to the bank. Gets different ones, and takes them. So he doesn't have millions of half dollars at his house right now. No. He looks so hype when he does his streams. What do you like about it, Bob? What do you like about it most? Shannon, I don't know if I shared... I don't know where I shared it. I think I showed it to people on the Discord once. But there's a guy on the Collector's Universe forum that maybe about 10 years ago, he posted a picture of his garage because he's been hoarding wheat scents. Like, he keeps buying bo boxes and boxes and he buys bags of wheat scents whenever they're on eBay cheap. And he's been doing it for years and years and years. And then he dumps them in giant garbage cans like you get from Home Depot. Like, what is it, those, uh, what are they, 55-gallon big plastic tubs? Like, the big, big, big garbage cans, basically. And he just keeps dumping them in garbage cans and garbage cans. So in his garage, he's probably got, like, 12 or 15, I don't remember exactly how many it was, but giant garbage cans completely full to the top of wheat scents. Like, thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds, all of wheat scents. <laughs> And he doesn't search them at all. He gets the bags from wherever he bought them, the coin shops or eBay, and then just dumps them right in the garbage cans. And when he posted the picture of it, when he posted the picture of it, he just said he's like, it's, it's him speculating in copper mostly is what he said. And uh, he had the garage and it's bright. And so he's got all these garbage cans. And then in the corner of his garage was a stack of priority mailboxes that had more more uh, wheat scents in him that he just hadn't opened yet. And then right in the middle of his garage is his Ferrari. He was flexing a little bit, I guess. <laughs> just flexing a little bit. Oh, it's just thousands and thousands. I mean, thousands and thousands of pounds. Like, I don't know how many... Like, somebody did the math. In that, in that thread on the Collector's Universe form. And I'm sure I could find it if I really looked around. But um, I know somebody did the math and figured out exactly like how many tons of copper were there. It's craziness. Craziness. Oh, you're referring to Chuck? Yeah. 
I don't know what he has or how many he has. I know. I know he has a good microscope and he sells people coins for way fucking too much money because he has a microscope and he tells everybody every coin's a repunchment marker or a double die. I know that much. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't, I don't really watch him. I mean, he seems real knowledgeable and stuff, but... I don't know. Seems like taking advantage of the audience a bit, too. He gets excited about it, but he, like, none of that shit's worth anything, is the whole bottom line. You could buy the whole damn rolls that he's going through for, like, the cost he sells five coins. Alright. Let me go here. We gotta go to field. Which ones have we finished? Hold on. We finished this one. Complete, collect, and collect. We got field six left. Okay, field six. What's up, Vern? Oh, Gringo would love the auctioneer voice. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Probably not. Whispering real close to his microphone. That's the... It sounds like when JW does his... Remember, you know how JW does that sometime? He just whispers real close to his microphone sound all serious and everything. Yeah, he does the whole stream like that. Bob Pop says people with 100,000 viewers, they not hype when they get... No, no, no. Here... No, no. He's got a... Uh, no, um... Rob has over 100,000 subscribers. Definitely doesn't get 100,000 viewers. But he absolutely gets hyped when he gets Super Chats. Maybe not as much as some of us would if we got a $100 Super Chat, but... You know, he, he acknowledges all the super chats he gets. I mean, he might miss one every now and then. Not usually. Like, dude, what is this guy doing? What the hell is this guy doing? This guy just stay in a straight damn line. There we go. Big Mill gets really hyped, too, when he gets uh, a $300 Super Chat. I remember. Big Mill got a $300 Super Chat. Alfred, we should find... Uh, that'd be fun to find that stream and put that in as, like, a command or something. Put that in as exclamation point hype on the Discord. <laughs> oh, poor Big Mill. Poor Big Mill. Uh, Vern, we were just talking, uh, Shannon was saying that he thinks, uh, Chuck from Copper Coins had, or I guess he had, like, so many coins he had to hire a moving company to, or something like that, I don't know, I wasn't really, didn't read everything Shannon wrote there. He had to move, get a moving company to move the coins? Is, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, I wouldn't do that. You want any, you really want a moving company to know how many coins you have, or that you have a lot of coins? No. Yeah, I guess you box everything up and then you can... Ah, dude, what am I doing here? I'm stuck. I guess, uh... I mean, I hired a moving company to move, too, before. But, I mean, but... And, they, yeah, they moved a lot of my coins, too. But they didn't know that they were coins. They were just heavy boxes that were all sealed up and taped shut. So... I, I, don't, I guess... And I don't really have that. I didn't have that many, I guess, but... But yeah, Vern, that's what we, they were talking about there. All right. 100,000. No, nobody's got 100,000 viewers there. That was 100,000 subscribers. When are we doing a slab auction? I'm thinking Saturday, Vern. I think we'll do one Saturday. Bob was watching the guy with 40 viewers today, and the chat was going fast. Nice. Yeah, Shannon, that's the thing. When Rob's got so many subscribe or viewers, he gets two, 300 people watching. Even the super chats when they come through, you might miss one every now and then because it goes so fast. 
Especially now that he put that damn bot in there that causes so many extra messages to go through. It's a lot harder. And that's one reason I haven't put a bot in this chat before. I think it would be fun. I'm real. I'm still tempted to do it, to put a bot in this chat to keep tr to like give you guys points for stuff, and and then you can redeem the points kind of like Rob has on his or like everybody has on their chats, and to where if you redeem, you know, I don't know what would it be, mom meatloaf, and then it would like be like Will Ferrell going, Ma, the meatloaf. I mean, that would that, that'd be fun. It'd be more fun than just Nightbot telling you it. And you could earn points, you know? You could spend those points. It'd be fun, but then I know it's already hard enough for me to read chat without falling behind. I know that you guys would be checking your damn points every two minutes, and it'd be tough to... It'd be tougher, but I'm still thinking about doing it. Wish you could do sounds on Discord? <laughs> oh, man, poor Mill. Poor Mill. <laughs> Bob Pop, in case you don't know what we're talking about, which I'm sure you don't, our friend Big Mill Hunt Silver used to scream real loud whenever he'd get super chats. And he'd usually get, you know, $5 super chats, $10, every now and then a $20 super chat. And he'd be screaming real loud all the time, making lots of noise. Well, one day... In the middle of his stream, Bob Pop, he gets a three hundred dollar super chat. Three hundred. Three hundred. And he starts freaking out and screaming and yelling and and then like within a minute the person that gave the three hundred dollar super chat came into the chat and be like, Oops, I meant to put three dollars. <laughs> And they had to like cancel it and he had to get his money back through his credit card or something. And so he didn't get the money. <laughs> that sucks so bad. Felt bad for Mill. But the guy couldn't afford to do 300. He did it by accident. <laughs> Bat <-tania. laughs> Oh man, I was trying to think of what that was the other day. Because I saw somebody selling some Britannias on one of the auctions, and they wanted like 45 bucks each for them or something. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I need to just start doing like a weekly auction and just like see what y'all are going to pay for shit. Because it's, it's just insane. I'll start it all at a, whatever I think is fair, and then if you guys think they're worth 45 bucks each, I'll sell you a whole bunch of Britannias. And then I saw someone selling the five ounce bat quarter the other day. I'm like, well, how much do you want for that? You know, because they were saying, oh, well, I'll take offers. I'm like, well, I'm not just going to throw out fucking numbers. How much do you want for it? You're the one showing it on your camera. And they said, well, I don't think I'll be able to take anything. I think they said, I think I'd want to be around 250 or something. I'm like, for the five ounce of quarter? That's like 50 bucks an ounce. I mean, if that's what they're worth, maybe I should put some up on freaking YouTube because I got a few of those. I mean, I know they've gone up a little bit in value. They're popular, but... Hey, Bob, thanks for all the smiley faces. You don't need to do that, though. That's a little... That, that's a little much. <laughs> Leopard scotch. <laughs> uh, oh, Bob Pop, he went nuts. He went... He went... He got pretty loud. He got pretty loud. Did I see the one night Muscle Shell gave... Her, that, he did that a couple different nights, I think, Vern. A couple people have done that. They just... Do super chat after super chat. Hundred dollars here, hundred dollars there, two hundred dollars there, and then or they'll do it like they'll buy a whole bunch of stuff in the auction. And they'll say give it to the end of the stream, and he, Rob's got a lot of flexors going into his chat and throw around a bunch of money. And good for Rob. Good for Rob. The way I look at it, the way I look at it, when I see people doing that, they're either a they really love the show and. They're, and and they're just loaded with cash and they're giving back and 500 bucks to them is like us normal folks donating five dollars it's like yeah five dollars is still something but it ain't gonna change what we have for dinner and we're still you know it ain't gonna change whether we can pay our bills so so for some for some people they can throw around that kind of money and good for them you know and good for them this ain't working why is this not working lower pickup there we go All right. So he's got a lot of people that like to flex like that. Um, 
because they either just really, really want to support Rob or they just really, really want the attention. And I think it's a mixture of both. And you know what? Great. Great for Rob, you know? Um, you know, he deserves it. You know, he puts on a good show, entertaining. And I've had a couple people do that in my chats too. I'll, not to nearly the same degree, but Mr. Marmello does it sometimes even here, Vern. He gives us a lot of super chats. Very generous. And I believe it's because he really likes us and he likes the content. And he also wants all of us to read all of his emojis and koalas and everything like that. Because all of us are going to read them a little more closely and stuff when it's on a $3.69 New Zealand Super Chat. So there's, you know, people do that. But there's also been a couple people that I think, not just in Rob's, but in other people's in the coin community, they throw around a ton of money and then they can't afford to do it. They're just doing it because it's more about them need, wanting the attention and want to be the star of the show for a minute. And just based on other things they say and other actions that happen thereafter, you can tell they really couldn't afford to be doing that. And that's kind of sad, but... I've had a couple people do that in mind, too, where I know, like, they're throwing around... To a much smaller degree, they're throwing around some money, and I'm like, dude, you really don't need to do that. And anyway, hope that makes sense. But yeah, I remember Muscle Shell used to go in there and do that a lot on rubs couple other people too some people still do it which is great I mean it's fun and the reason I say they're doing it I mean of course they it's, it seems more about them wanting the personal attention and not only from the streamer but also from the entire audience is because if someone really wanted to donate a hundred dollars to support me or to support Rob or whoever the streamer is they would do so during with PayPal or they, you know, or they'd send a check because they know that if you do it through Super Chat, YouTube takes one third to one half, depending on how it's done. So if it's really just about supporting that channel, the best way to support the channel is to maybe just send money to that channel instead of doing it through Super Chat. They're doing it through Super Chat because they want everyone to know about it and everybody to see it, everybody to read that comment and everybody say, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, so generous, you're, you're, the, you're the man, you're awesome. Which, I've, believe me, I've sent a lot of super chats too. That's part of it. We get it. But no, I mean, I, mean, I think uh, most channels are pretty thankful when they get super chats, and I know I am too. 15 viewers, woohoo! Uh, let's see, Vern's putting in some teacups and coffee cups. Albert said there are a few that do a lot in auctions and streams, then end up doing a charity. Yeah, I've seen that. Yep. Like to teach you how to be the center of attention. Yeah, yeah, I'll teach you a thing or two. Shannon says, I get what you did there, Alfred. Oh, I must have missed it. Flew right over my head. What if someone with OCD watches streams of people that have never showered? Never showered? You mean showered? S H O W E R E D would be showered. Uh, EPU wants some attention. Hey, EPU, what's up? What's up? Please look. Are you guys done with your marathon uh, Tiki Taki auction or whatever the fuck that was? <laughs> oh my god, that was kind of painful. Like having to listen to him talk to Tiki Taki every two minutes and tell them they can't buy anything. But I don't know. It was kind of funny though. <laughs> I guess that's part of it when you're a big ticky tacky star. <laughs> Organizers, hello! Alan R doesn't feel welcome over there. No? That sucks. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Marathon is over. No, there was some cool stuff there, but. I don't know. I was I was waiting to see what Morgan Dollars he was gonna pop up there too, but. I don't know, the first one I kind of got let down on because it's like, well, the shop says it's a BU, but I think it might be an AU. And I'm like, dude, that's like an XF polished. It was like a piece of shit. But somebody bought it for 75 bucks. I'm like, holy shit. I mean, there was a couple others that weren't bad, but that first one was a piece of shit. 
There was an XF that was polished. It was definitely cleaned or... It, it was fucked up. It was fucked up. So I'm like, I ain't... Alright. <laughs> I'm like, if the shop called that BU, you better be careful at that shop. What's up, Jordan? What you been doing, Jordan? You been doing your animations? You got another video coming out? In less than 10 hours, you said? Whoops, what did I just hit? I just hit the circle button. Why did I do that? What does the circle button do? That just goes here. I meant to hit the square button. To get into this guy. So I can go empty him out. What did you find in your nickel bag? Still sorted and want to eat these half dollar hunts? Yeah. <laughs> How does OCD work? I don't know. I don't have OCD. I mean, I don't think I have full blown OCD. Yeah, I like things to be in certain order and nice and neat. So I'm not. I'm not a complete fucking slob. But I don't think not being a complete fucking slob means I have OCD. But Jordan has five more sets of wings to break. <laughs> And one less GDNA. Can I not shower till May? Yeah, Bob, you could not shower till May. But you'd probably, uh... You'd probably lose some friends. Your baseball team would probably not appreciate that. Some of your teammates and your coaches. I don't know if your parents would like that or not. It's up to you and your parents, but, uh... I mean... I would not recommend it. And also, it would not be healthy. You need to clean. You know what the biggest organ in your body is? I mean, it's not the one between your legs, so don't say that. It's your skin. You need to take care of it. You need to clean yourself. <laughs> oh, you searched Hut River Province and my video came up? Yeah, Hut River Province. That's fun. Yeah, I don't think that's a real country anymore. Well, it was never a real country. But I don't even think it's a fake country anymore. I think the king finally died. And then I think his sons didn't want to take over. I believe that's what happened. So I think the kingdom is gone. I think they decided to rejoin Australia. You're going to make your own racetrack, Jordan? Near the mansion? Well, don't do it, like, right up against the mansion or something. Because, again, we still might do something with that mansion someday. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, they had to pay back, like, money? No! Really? I think that didn't the guy die and then his... Like, his... I think his son, the prince, didn't want to... Didn't want to do it anymore. I guess he knew his dad was just kind of a nut. A nut from Hut, right? <laughs> okay. One of my coin videos popped up first. Nice. Yeah, and if you don't take showers, you won't be welcome at San Dimas High School. Ever. Your teammate does not know how much you shower. Bob, if you stop showering, they'll eventually figure it out. They'll eventually figure it out, I promise you. Is it okay if I... Yeah, you can build a racetrack somewhere if you want to do it kind of like Manda did. But like I said, don't like... Don't mess with the mansion, though. Don't mess with the mansion. I'm already pissed off that somebody busted some windows and put a hole in the roof. I haven't been inside in a while. Who knows what else they've done to it. But I see there's a hole in the roof somehow. I don't understand that. But, um... Anyway. Yeah, just, uh... Or maybe don't do it right at the mansion. I don't know. Find somewhere to do it that's not, like, right on the man. I don't know. You know what I mean. You're going to hopefully make the trap longer than the other one? Okay, Jordan.
I don't know if that makes the Hut River tokens. I guess they're 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 limited now. They're not making any new ones. I guess they're not making any new ones. You change your mind about the mansion. It's too bad that you can't make the racetrack go up and down with the boats. Well, you can make it go down, but then you couldn't get back up unless you built some kind of an elevator or something that you could ride the boat up. Would that be a thing? I don't know if that if that would work. Like, could you build like a racetrack that goes like? Because if you go down, you could, the boat would just like fly through the air and then land on the bottom part. You shower when you're told to? God, Bob. It's not good. A true Fokker. I think we need to, like, start coming up with the, with the like, the, uh... What do we gotta come up with? Like, the rules of being a Fokker or the Fokker code or... You know, the Friends of Kittle. Friends of Kittle shower themselves. Do we, we need to make that one of the rules, right? Friends of Kittle believe that uh, cleanliness is next to kittleness, so you need to uh, clean your body. True Fockers believe in clean bodies. So if you want to be, if you want to keep being a Fokker, Bob, <laughs> you need to take a shower. Alright, was thinking continuing it again eventually. Huh. Hmm. Another ended project. <laughs> What's the other project? <laughs> what about the Jordan subway? Oh yeah, remember? Remember the Jordan subway? There is a way to manipulate the boats to go up with water streams on the ice. Okay. Yeah, I guess it, yeah, you would have to do that. You'd have to like make a waterfall and then like paddle up the waterfall, huh? But I know you can go down just because the boat will be going so fast it'll just skip right down. I don't know, I just think it might be fun to make like a figure eight like, I don't know, or like a one that goes up a hill and then down and... Oh, you got your hair washed on Saturday. I mean, you didn't wash your own hair? The hell? Alright, is this, uh, contract done? Let's see. Contract is complete. Collect. Another $7,000. Contract on field 29. Well, let's just drive home. Let's just drive home and see if we get anywhere near 29. If we get anywhere near 29, maybe we'll take that contract. Well, hell, here's 27 right in front of us. 29's got to be nearby. Doesn't it? So let's just take that. Contract on 29, accept. Boom. Yeah, it's right across the street over here. T-Bone! <laughs> uh, that was fun. All right, let's go. I thought that was water over here. It's just a fertilized field. <laughs> All right, that guy's gonna do that job. That guy's still doing that job. This guy's gonna keep doing this. Should probably get to plowing. Should probably start plowing. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get my. Other... Where's my new tractor? Is this my new tractor? Oh yeah. No, this is my new tractor. I'm in my new tractor, dummy. All right, let's uh, go ahead and disconnect this. We'll do more of that later. Gonna work with the terrain. Nice. Nice. 
All right, sucks they patched the glitch where you only needed one piece of ice to make the boat go super speed. Rust of the ground could have just... Oh, really? Oh. I mean, ice ain't that hard. How you doing, Isaac? Tomorrow is your birthday, huh? Well, like in an hour, you mean? Well, happy birthday, Isaac. That's awesome. Good for you. Well, I hope you get what you want for your birthday and hope it's a great day. Okay, okay. All right, what else we got going on here? They patched the glitch. That's weird. That would be a cool glitch. Happy early birthday. What's up? 1.59 a.m. for Alfred. You're getting older? Hey, we're all getting older every day. It's better than not getting older, I'll tell you that. Jordan animates any extra dirt you get. Put in the sorter, please. There you go, Jordan. If you get dirt, put it in the sorter. All right, we are going to go to lower my plow. And hope that this actually can plow them around. Oh yeah, this thing's actually pulling pretty well. Am I getting all the way to the edge of the field here? I'm not. I'm missing some of it. That's kind of pissing me off now. That's okay. We'll come back and get that. We'll come back and get that. Alright, I got a tractor that can actually plow. This is good. This is good. Jordan, build the track pretty much wherever you want. I don't think it matters what biome it's in. Now, what would be kind of cool? I don't know. What would, would this be cool or would it not be cool? Would it be cool if... I'm, th I'm just thinking aloud here. If you had a track that was even with... Or if you just had a track, you could do it anywhere. Like, where, where all of a sudden the ice stopped and then it became water. And then you'd have to... The, continue the like part of the race would just be in regular water what do you think and then it would turn to ice again so it would go from water to ice and then to water like you could mix up water too the hell's that noise i just heard like some crazy noise i don't know what that was oh, this guy's done Just to be a little different, because the ice gets real fast, and then the water would slow you down. And then you get back on the ice, it'd be fast again. You'd have to have the ice and the water at the same exact level, though, right? And can you, can you have the... Would you be able to get from the water right back onto the ice, though? I don't know how that worked. Like, would it, would it work? I think it would work, right? Not sure what else we could do on our racetrack. Lots and lots of wheat going on in here. Now I'm not selling the wheat, I'm saving the wheat because one of the next buildings we're gonna buy is going to be Ooh. Harvester. One of the next buildings we're gonna buy is gonna be a flour mill. So we'll be able to turn all this wheat into flour and just make more money. So we're saving it, unless we have to, unless we have to sell it. Boats, boats can also be manipulated by a two by two water elevator, huh? Oh. oh, Isaac's gotta go. I'm sorry, sorry, Isaac, I missed you. Happy birthday, Isaac. Oh yeah, we're finally going to get nice plowed fields. We're going to get that yield bonus. I'm going to be able to get all these rocks out of the field too. Ah, uh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great.
I'm just wondering though, Alfred, would this push a boat up? I mean, I don't know if it would though. Like if you just had a whole bunch of magma blocks under the water, I guess you'd have to, can you combine the magma blocks with a waterfall? So it would like automatically push you up like the waterfall, like with the bubbles or I don't know if that would, I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know if that would work. Everything's different, but the same. Things are more moderner than before. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Contracts complete. So let's uh, get this guy back home. Let's collect this money. Collect. One more little tiny fertilizing job. We're not going to do that. Let's get let's get her home. Let's get our dudes home. We're up to two hundred thirty thousand dollars. Look at that biogas plant there. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the white vans. Oh, soul sand goes up. Yeah, magma would be bad then. Liquid hot magma. <laughs> Bob Pop, you would you're really gonna rewatch this? Nah, there's other stuff on YouTube. Go watch some of my old. You might like it, Bob. Go watch some of my old streams from like before you even watched my stuff. Remember, you didn't always watch my stuff. Remember, like I used to stream, like before you. <laughs> Remember, you might find some good stuff. Bob, have you ever watched the South Park game, Stick of Truth, or Fractured Butthole? I did complete playthroughs of Stick of Truth. I did the Stick of Truth twice. We played that game. It's on YouTube. Recorded. You can watch it at any time. Stick of Truth. I would watch Stick of Truth first. If you like South Park at all, you'll love it, Bob. If you like South Park at all, you'll love it. South Park, Stick of Truth. And then I got a playlist for it. And then South Park, Fractured Butthole. Those are the two games. Watch that instead of a replay of something you've already seen. Or if you like Red Dead Redemption 2, I did a playthrough of the game Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm going to need to find shulker boxes at the end now. Uh, Jordan, right on the, it, right inside the house, on the main floor, right inside the main floor of the house, Alfred put a box full of shulker boxes that anybody can have. Take what you need. Take what you need. You do not... I think we should almost say Jordan's not allowed to go to the end anymore. What do you think? Because all he does is go there and gets a bunch of wings he breaks. You don't need to go to the end. We got tons of shulker boxes. Alfred built a shulker box farm. If you need shulker boxes, Alfred will hook you up, I believe. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of shulker boxes there. I'm going to move this so it doesn't get in the way of my plow. Underpants gnome scene. <laughs> ah, EPU. No, I think I think EPU liked uh, fractured butthole more because uh, of spontaneous boote. I think you like spontaneous boote. And then the mission where you had to make the drink for the um, strip club DJ. You got to put all to get all those stupid ingredients. <laughs> Or you can watch my coin videos. You can always do that, Bob. You're welcome to do so. <laughs> yeah, did Jordan ever get his broken elytras? I don't know. That's weird that they they went seem to go missing. Spontaneous boote. <laughs> and then classy. It's classy with an I. 
and a little dick that comes off the C and fucks the L out of the ASS. That's how you spell classy. Take a shower, Bob, says Jordan. <laughs> yeah, instead of watching a whole bunch of videos you've already seen, go take a shower. <laughs> that is good advice, Jordan. Wait, wait, wait to come through, Jordan. Way to come through with the real advice. Count all the Popeyes rants. Nobody ever rants about Popeyes. Popeyes is great. Unless you're trying to tell me they have a good spicy chicken, then we might rant, rant about that. A spicy chicken sandwich. They have an amazing spicy chicken. Unfortunately, they don't use that spicy chicken on their so-called spicy chicken sandwich. Unfortunately. Alfred's just going to go ahead and put this out there. If anybody finds a glass structure in the end... Do not place blocks near it at Kittle Got Game. It'll ruin the Shulker farm. So if you're ever in the end and you see a glass structure, don't do anything anywhere near it. Okay. <laughs> Bob, you don't like South Park. Really? Why? Have you, like, watched much South Park? Now, Bob, let me ask you this. Have you watched, like, the first like six to eight seasons of South Park. I'm not talking about the South Park that's on like now, the modern South Park, because a lot of the newer episodes of South Park completely blow. They suck. The older ones, like seasons one through six or one through eight are amazing. And that's what the games are more like. About what's going on. Ah, come on, I didn't lower the frickin' thing. Come on, there we go. I don't know, Bob. Maybe you'll like it. Check out at least uh, episode one of Stick of Truth that we played. Maybe you'll like it. And if you like it, then continue on. What will you do for me if I take it? We're going to stop talking about you taking a shower. That's what we're going to do. All right. Uh, Alfred might want to tell everyone just to request items from the end instead of... Nah, we can all go to the end and stuff too, but the end's pretty big, and hopefully, I, I'm guessing Alfred built it like, I don't know, it's, the chances of us even finding where he built it are probably low, but I guess in, just in case, he threw it out there. Yeah, it's okay, this is on, I just want to make sure it's on. You lost it with Mr. Hanky. Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. <laughs> sometimes he's runny, sometimes he's smelly, sometimes he's practically water. <laughs> Mr. Hanky's awesome. I liked Mr. Hanky in the South Park game. Did you like that, Shannon? Where he's living, like, in the sewer, like, in a couple Pringles cans and, like, a box of something, and he had Mrs. Hanky and the and the Nuggets, and you had to go help the Nuggets because they were, uh, the Nuggets got kidnapped. Uh, Jordan will play Fall Guys with you, Bob. Tally is fun, EPU. Yeah, Tally's running the medicinal marijuana clinic in town. That was fun. <laughs> Wanna get high? <laughs> Last of the Mexicans? <laughs> Mantequilla! <laughs> Mantequilla. Built pretty far away. Just want to make note of it. Okay. Yeah, he was pretty odd. His, his wife's hilarious. Just drunk all... What was her name? Like, I forgot what it was. Amber or something? Or, or was Amber the little girl? I don't remember. I know the one... I know the one... Uh, the one nugget was born with a peanut in his head. So he wasn't that smart. 
That was hilarious. Bar with a peanut in his head. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Sounds like a, what would you do for a Klondike bar, huh? Members only, you have to get a ways out to find new cities that haven't been looted. Probably. Yeah, probably. But the further you go out, the harder it is just to find one in particular. Because the... The area just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So still, it'd be hard to find where Alfred bought, built that. Unless he left some kind of clues to where, it, where it's at, which I'm sure... He did not, um, not intentionally. Uh, they just got a lot of blood in South Park? No, I don't think so. I wouldn't say that. I think you should give it a chance, Bob. I think you should give it a chance. Corn Wallace was one of the kids. Yeah, Vern. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the one with the peanut in his head? <laughs> Only Nubs knows the cord, and that's okay. Cord Wallace. Oh shit. All right, that guy's doing a pretty good job plowing so far. I mean, it's going a little bit slow actually, but the other, my other, uh, actually, it's not going too bad. My other tractor wouldn't even plow it. It was so bad. Like, it couldn't get it. Couldn't get it up the little hill there. This guy missed a couple little pieces. We'll get these. It's just too many... Uh, oh, I don't know what you're trying to say there, but hold on. It's fun to watch South Park, says Jordan. That was a good protector of the realm. Eric is hilarious. Eric Cartman. <laughs> I don't know. It's just too many audits. Adults? Are you saying adults? Context? Context? Like, too many things are adult? Yeah, I mean, well... I, I wouldn't say it's too many. Well, that, Bob, that's why I'm trying to say... If you watch, like, an episode of South Park today, like one of their newer ones, yeah, it's all a bunch of bull crap, and it's... They're not as good. They're still funny here and there, but they're definitely not as good as the older South Parks. And you'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be okay with the game. It's not too much that... You know, yeah, every now and then, one of the jokes might go over your head. Sure, Bob. Maybe. Maybe. That's fair. That's a fair point. All right, another field of wheat. There's that. This guy's trying to figure out how to turn around. I mean, really what I should do is I'm gonna fire this guy right now. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna lower the plow. Well, I tried to lower the plow. What's going on? Why does it do this? Lift. Lower plot. Uh, fold plot? Why is the plow turned like that? What did I do? Fold plow. Lift plow. Rotate plow. There we go. Why was it rotated? Lower plow. There we go. Let's try to get the end of this field because it seems to be having a tough time turning around anyway.
Yeah, I, I figured that's probably why you liked Cartman, because he's a little bit toxic, isn't he? A little bit. A little bit toxic, I guess. I don't know if that's what Bob's saying. I don't know. What is the age rating for South Park? I have no idea. I have no idea. Probably mature audiences. I don't know what that, that even means for age rating. But I know only one of... I know when I did the South Park game, one of the, one of the parts of it, of the... Of the was it Stick of Truth or Fractured Butthole? I think it was Stick of Truth. One part of it got rated 18 and over only. I had to re I had to rate it adults only for YouTube to let me keep it up. So take that information for whatever that's worth, I guess. I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was that bad. Apparently, YouTube thought it needed to be rated adults only. I thought it was fine. Alright, we're plowing like a boss here. I just want to make sure this thing gets the whole damn field. There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. Cal's mom's a big fat biatch. She's a stupid king kamehameha biatch, Jordan. Recent the ones about kids finding an interest in airsoft. That one wasn't too bad. That one, there's some that are good, but there's some that are just like they're way too much about current events, and most people don't even understand half the jokes. I would think, or at least younger viewers probably wouldn't. And then they did like that whole season where they made. Mr. Garrison, the president, and they made him act like Trump or whatever, and that was just stupid. They did that as a joke because they thought everybody knew that Hillary was going to win, so they're like, well, that's we'll only have to do this for like an episode or two because of course Hillary's going to win. And then Hillary didn't win, so then they had to keep Mr. Garrison as the president for a few years, and they didn't plan on that. I keep getting caught on that tree. Damn it. Ah, oh, dude, this is bad. All right, let's just go wide. I'll go wide. I didn't mean to go that wide. Come on, man. Turn it, turn it, turn it. All right, let's just... Oh, shit, wrong button. Let's put the plow back down. Just hire a worker to see if they can get the rest of this shit. Come on. There we go. Was that so hard to do? No. Let's see, 
Rob Pop says south. EP still has the original thumbnail. Say, so, oh, I know he likes that one. I know he likes that one. Yeah, the one that YouTube. I can't believe they they automatically made that the thumbnail too. I'm, but that was I'm sure that brought a lot of new viewers to my uh, video for like a few minutes until it shut down. Teenager always in the bathroom. Leave me alone. Nah, I can't think of any of the other good ones recently, but nah, every now and then they'll have a good one. I mean, I thought the ones... Now, you can't see it unless you have, what is it, Paramount Plus. They have this, the COVID and post-COVID specials on Paramount Plus. I thought they were pretty funny. I mean, they it kind of sucks that they're only available on Paramount Plus. But that was part of the deal that they got like $400 billion, so I get why they did that. Oh, I mean, we've already had people saying, can I play Fall Guys? I'm not playing Fall Guys today. Not doing it. I already did my daily challenges today. Not doing it. No reason for me to get on there. That thumbnail needs <laughs> No, there needs to be a Discord command to bring that up, but I don't know if Alfred wants that popping up all over the place. <laughs> It's pretty funny, though. Where is that AI worker going? Jeez. I have no idea what my AI worker's doing. Let's look at this. What is this guy doing? What the hell is this guy doing? Look, is that counting as plowing it? Just driving over to the field, not plowing it? What is this guy doing? I'm paying this guy. No, the daily challenges don't reset at midnight for some reason. They reset like at four in the morning my time or something. Oh, he just, now he's gonna start going, okay. Thanks, worker. Yeah, that's probably violating the, that's almost going back to the box wine bonanza, having stuff like that. Cartman playing Fall Guys. <laughs> Who's my favorite character? Cartman. Of course. Of course, Cartman. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, well, remember the game's ba the game. The, it's all based on like British stuff. Like the like the shop. Uh, it's weird. No, it's like 5 in the morning for me or something. The shop resets, like the items in the shop, and the new game mode comes out, I think, right now at 2 in the morning for me. So, at like, 2 in the morning is when everything resets in the shop, but then the challenges don't reset until maybe, like, 5 or 6 in the morning. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah, Cartman's the best. Box line bonanza. <laughs> God, that was just nuts. I remember. I remember. I remember flooded basements. I remember. someone walking coast to coast like on purpose I just felt like walking before you know it I walked clear across Greenbow Alabama <laughs> just felt like running.
Well, yeah, they had the Big Mill Casino that only lasted for a little bit. I think the Big Mill Casino is still there, but nobody used it once the Box Wine Bonanza went in. Like, Big Mill Casino was pretty active for about, like, a few days or whatever. And then once the Box Wine Bonanza debuted... Oh, yeah. Remember the Kittle Flex Room? It used to be called the Nate Flex Room? Remember Nate was good at this game? Or at Fall Guys, I mean? And we weren't. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, Jordan, I don't watch any of the Family Guy anymore. But I watched, like, the first couple seasons, and I really thought it was funny. No way. No, there's a Canadian walking from the west coast of Canada to the east coast. Jeez. Hope he's got some good shoes. That's a few miles. Alfred, don't do the news. Nate stopped in last night to say hello. Oh, really? Oh, good. I remember them. I remember a coin hunting couple. I got stickers to prove it. That I was there. That I know that I knew them. Will you get the golden night before 2023? No, you won't, Bob. No, you won't. You got too much stuff to do. Oh, my worker over there is just being a dick. Oh, we took Big Mill's name off of it? Yeah, Beavis and Butthead was really good. I used to watch that all the, all the time. I still got a VHS tape with six hours of Beavis and Butthead recorded right off MTV in 1995. We should play that. You should really play that on a. Uh, you guys need to tell me when do you guys want to watch Beavis and Butthead all together? Because I'll I'll set it up in the movie room on Discord. And we can all watch it. I'll hook my VCR up to my computer. We can watch uh, a whole bunch of '90s uh, episodes of Beavis and Butthead with all the '90s commercials for like Clearasil and stuff and <laughs> and Taco Bell. That's like all the MTV commercials for. Uh, let's see. Run and Stimpy. Run and Stimpy was alright. I used to watch that a little bit. But Beavis and Butthead, I watched all those when they were on. The Big Mill Ghetto Casino is still there. Just the ghetto. The box wine is long gone. Oh, yeah. Got baseball. So you, that's exactly right, Bob. You got other stuff to do, like baseball. Yeah, see, Alfred, that's what I'm thinking, too. It's like, I know they're working, but... I don't know, almost every time I turn on my PlayStation, both CHC accounts are logged into ARK. So... I mean, ARK's great, but... Or maybe they can play at work, I don't know. Whoops. What did I just hit? I hit the wrong button. Oh, I tried to hire a worker, and you can't... I forgot, you can't hire a worker to do that. This guy just sucks. Okay. I gotta finish this myself. Luckily, you only gotta plow, like, one out of every few harvests. I think one out of every three is where we have it set. I did like that one of the newer South Park episodes was all where um, Cartman's mom had to become a real estate agent to to be able to afford things for Cartman. And then Cartman didn't want her to get a job. So Cartman uh, became a real estate agent to compete against her. That was a pretty funny one.
I thought it was good. Alright, I'm gonna let this thing overlap quite a bit to make sure I get all the field. There you go. Is that right up to the edge? God damn it, I don't know if it is. You know what? It's close enough. It's close enough to the edge. I tried. It's getting rocks. This thing's constantly filling up. That's good. We need all this. We need all the grain. Beautiful grain. The mercs for gas people are going to freak out. Silver and gold drop. Did it? They should be freaking out, like, in a good way that now they can buy silver and gold. It's cheaper now. I don't understand that. When the fuck are these phony-ass stackers on YouTube happy? When would they ever be happy? They fucking whine and bitch and moan when silver goes up and down. But the, when are they ever happy? If silver goes way up, wow, silver's up. Now I can't afford it. The do you guys see the premiums? I can't get silver anywhere. Bullshit. Bullshit. How much silver you want? I get you as much silver as you fucking can afford. You want a million dollars worth of silver, I can have it delivered to you by Friday. If you got the money. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Bars, coins, whatever you want. Generic rounds, junk silver, thousand ounce Comex bars. Whatever you want, it's fucking available right now. I can show you the wholesale sheets. I can show you the sheets. It's available in quantity. How much you want? You, maybe you just don't like the current going rate, the premium. That's your problem. It's not, It's available. Oh, but then silver goes up. Oh my God, did you see silver? It's gone down. Oh, wah, wah. It goes down and you're going to cry. What the fuck do you want, man? Like, what's the, what's the goal? What's the goal? I don't get it. I don't get it. And you know what my theory is? Is the channels that do that, that whine both directions, that it's gone up, that it's gone down, like silver, but they just can't really afford it anyway. They're not really silver investors. Yeah, they might throw a few bucks into it here and there, but they're just broke. The people that are doing it are just broke. So they're bitching because they can't afford it, and then those stuff that they already had bought... They're bitching because it goes down when silver goes down. So that's what it really is. They're either broke or they don't have regular income. Like they get, like maybe they're like, uh, maybe they used to have money and now they're like unemployed and sitting at home doing YouTube all day. Or so there's something going on to where they can't afford to buy silver right now at the going rate. So they're stuck with whatever they have. So that's why they're crying when it goes up and there's high premiums because they can't afford to get very much right now. And they're crying when it goes down because what they've already bought, what they own in their collection goes down. That's just, the, I mean, that's the only way I can rationalize why people are whine and cry both directions. Silver goes up. Oh my God, it's too high. Silver goes down. Oh my God, did you see what? It's like the only, that's the only way that makes sense. But if you have like a regular source of income where you make X amount per month, and of that X amount you make per month, you're gonna put Y amount per month into precious metals as what you think you want for your investment. Does the silver price matter at all? No, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Does the silver premiums matter at all? No, it doesn't matter at all. Because you know you're gonna put this percentage of your paycheck into in the silver and the, all that happens with the prices and premiums is how much, how many pieces of silver you get at the end of each week. Does it matter? No. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't. Now, if you're a YouTuber that's selling silver as part of your show, does it matter? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It just means you have to pay more to get it. And then it means you have to charge more to sell it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Or... If you have fixed prices on your show, like if you're one of those half dollar guys selling a box of silver for 250 bucks and you usually give this many ounces of silver in return, you just have to give less silver in return to make it work. 
or you have to raise the price. I mean, it's just numbers. It doesn't matter. It's not like you can't get silver. There's silver everywhere. How much do you want? Let me know. Send me an email. How much do you want? Send me the bank wire. You'll get the silver a couple days later. It's easy. It's really easy. It's really easy. How much do you want? Alfred, how much silver you want? I, mean, I could even get you Canadian. I can get you bags of Canadian silver, 80%. Whatever you want, I can get them. I can get you a bag of war nickels. I can get you a bag of war nickels for like $1.25 a nickel. Under melt. Now I see other YouTubers selling them at $2 to $2.50 a war nickel. What a fucking ripoff that is for a junky ass war nickel. <laughs> war nickels, you should never pay more than melt for a war nickel. Because dealers buy and sell them wholesale under melt. Forever they've been under melt. Nobody wants 35% silver. But if you want a whole bag of them, I can get them significantly under scrap for you. Exactly. Step one, stack. Step two, step three, profit. That's pretty much their plan. Wait, what's phase two? <laughs> well, I don't know, but phase three is profit. <laughs> but phase three is profit. Oh, man. Oh, squad's taking a vacation in Florida. Is that right? Maybe they're going to Disneyland. You're going to be doing a voice chat game. What do I say? I don't know what you're talking about, Bob. You say, hey. If it's, a, if it's a game, you should probably be talking about the game, right? That's what I would think about. How much silver you guys want? Let me know. I'll just tell you what the going rate is. I got the sheet. You know the great thing about the dealer wholesale seat? Anybody can get it. I can give you the fucking website. You can search it right now. Just what, one of the best ones that most dealers use right now because they're they they're the ones that's public one of them that's publicly available is Upstate Trading. Upstate. Just search Upstate Dealer Wholesale PDF and you'll get right to their damn website. It's right there. They do it every day. And right there it lists the buy prices and the sell prices. So you don't like the premium then you should go out and get the coins somewhere else and sell to them because it'll tell you right now they're buying Silver Eagles for like plus nine and they're selling them for plus 12. They're making three bucks a coin. Good for them. You want to buy Swiss 20 franc gold? They're buying them for like plus five, selling them for plus 15. How many you got? Sell them all. How many do you want? Buy them all. Whatever you want to do. They got all, they got all the stuff. They got everything. Buy as much as you want. Never dealt with them before? Call them up. Tell them you know me. Ask for Jeff. They'll hook you up. Well, maybe he won't, but depends on who you, depends on which one of you calls. <laughs> You know a great place to buy silver? Good. Exclamation point. Michael Kittle rare coins? Well, I don't really do much with bullion. Like, I don't hold bullion myself because I'm not a silver or gold speculator. Now, I have a little bit of... I have a few gold coins and a few things tucked away in the safe deposit box. Sure, I got a little tiny bit, but... Look at, in, I mean, gold and silver are horrible investments long term. So when I buy a, a collection or I get a deal and there's a bunch of gold or a bunch of silver, I just sell it right away for whatever the going rate is. I buy it based on what the going rate is and I sell it based on what the going rate is. I don't want to hold it for months and months and months because silver or gold could crash in that period and then all of a sudden I didn't get a good deal. Sure, just as likely it could go up and then I got way better deal, but I'm not a speculator. I'm not doing that. That's not why I get the stuff. Silver and gold are a shit investment long term. Let's go. Sell that straw. Yes, I have a coin channel. For all your coin needs. Bullion is mad. Some of the shiny pretty Gmail stuff is... Cool. No, and see, that's... Buy what you like. So, 
I guess since I'm a coin collector and some of the coins I like are gold or silver by default and, and some of them just don't have much numismatic premium I guess just because I'm a coin collector I do have investments in bullion because of that I mean just like Glendale coin club medals for example most people don't care about those but I like them um, I mean each one of those is 1.6 ounces of 999 gold uh, you know so you get three of those together you got five ounces of gold I mean that's that's kind of a significant amount of gold for some people and so yeah I guess I do have some gold investments you can say there and I got a few other things tucked away but I'm not buying like I'm definitely not buying like bars of gold or or generic you know you know 100 ounce bars of silver or anything like that not for me not for me I mean I get them and I sell them when I get them or I'll buy them for people that tell me they need them it's easy but Saki is kind of a silly concept if you're a doomsday prepper. Is who you're going to sell it to? Alright, I mean, I'm telling you one thing. If there's ever a doomsday scenario like any of these guys talk about, like the government's collapse and we the economy collapses, I ain't giving up any of my stuff for stupid silver or gold. Why would I? I'll trade you for Kansas SpaghettiOs. If I have anything of value to you. I mean... I'll trade you for some beef jerky. You know, that's that'll be good for me. But what am I going to do with your silver coins? What am I going to do with your Merc dimes? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. They're, they're useless. They're useless. And I understand no matter what happens, you know, there's always in history some sort of a medium of exchange you got to do once there's at least some sort of an economy. And, you know, maybe it would be silver coins again someday if everything collapses but I don't know it'd be just as reasonable to be like in the video game fallout that we'd all use coke bottle caps why not why wouldn't why why would why couldn't we just use those I mean what's so great about silver and everybody's like oh there's you know but you know it's like there's a limited supply no they, they there's more and more silver every year there's tons of silver mines out there because people say oh paper money's not good because they keep making more of it well, you know, they keep making more gold and more silver every single year, too. Every single year. So that's not the best argument of why gold and silver are so much better. There's a history argument that it's been used as money for thousands of years. Sure. That's a little bit better of an argument. But just the people say, oh, they keep printing too much money. I'm like, well... As technology is improving year after year and year, and if the price keeps going up year after year, they're going to be mining that much more of it. They're literally, in that case, instead of printing money, they're literally mining money. They're literally mining money. And you don't think that affects the value of what you already got in your safe? Well, if you don't think that, then you're not thinking. Yeah, they're cool. Alfred, yeah, you know what? And that's what I do. Like, a lot of stuff like that, I'll buy, like, one or two of them, or I guess some things I've even bought, like, a roll of and just thrown them in the safe, you know? That's cool. But, like, am I going to buy, like, a monster box of those and, like, s speculate that they're going to be worth ten times as much by the time I retire? No, I'm not. That's not... Um, no. If I wanted to dump, you know, 20 grand or... 18 grand or whatever it costs to buy a monster box of silver right now if I wanted to put 18 grand into an investment right now I'd be buying uh, some stocks because I know with almost certainty with almost this is not investment advice by the way of course you gotta always put that in one of their one of your bullion or stacking streams with almost certainty though in 20 years, my investment, just throwing it into an index fund in the stock market, will be worth more than putting in 18000 or the same amount of money into silver or gold or any combination of any of the precious metals. 
almost with certainty because those stocks earn money they earn a they earn earnings and when a stock earns money they reinvest in their own company to build a bigger company and or they pay dividends to the shareholders which you can then reinvest in more of the company the little pile of silver you stick in your safe or gold you stick in your safe earns nothing it pays no dividends it does not grow just that alone over a 15 to 25 year period makes silver and gold shit investments not to and that's without factoring in storage costs and security and insurance i don't need any storage security insurance on my stocks i don't i don't But if you got a safe full of gold or a safe deposit box full of gold, that costs money. Transaction costs are a problem. What's it going to cost you to sell $100,000 worth of silver if you need to sell it on a certain day? I don't know. What's it going to cost me to sell $100,000 of stocks? I don't know. About nine bucks. You know, whatever the trading fee is on the mar for the brokerage that you use. Big deal. And it's done immediately. How long is it going to take you to go sell $100,000 worth of silver if you decide you need to sell it today? Well, if you need to sell it today, you might have to take a lower price if someone has, you know, I mean, there's transaction costs with physical metal. It's a bad investment. It's a bad investment. I don't know. How do we start? How do we get on that rant again? Come on, guys. There was actually a mission in Fallout New Vegas to investigate a counterfeit bottle cap maker? Really? <laughs> That's awesome. And in Fallout 76, you had to help secure the Federal Reserve gold supply for future coinage backing? Nice. See, that's what, I mean, that's really what I, I mean, I, I, you always hear a lot of the stackers say that our fiat money is worth nothing because it's no longer backed by gold or silver. Okay, I mean... It's kind of like, I mean, that's not really a true argument. It's still worth something. I'll take your money. I'll take all the fiat money you want. Give me all. Give me it all if you don't like it. I mean, it's worth whatever we think it's worth. And as long as the public has the belief that it's worth something, it's always going to be used. Now, back in the day, I guess it took backing by gold for the public to believe in it because they were also circulating gold and silver at the same time. That's why we had to have our money backed by gold. Because if you went to Walmart and you were going to get five bucks in change and you had the choice between a $5 Liberty Gold coin or a $5 paper note, you're going to pick the $5 gold coin every single time because you know that's money. Look, it's gold. It's gold. But if the paper dollar says it's also worth $5 in gold at any time at any place, then you'll take either or. But we don't have that choice anymore. We don't have that choice anymore. That's the big difference and why it doesn't matter that our money's not backed by gold. We don't have that choice. We have the choice between do you want to take a handful or a huge bag full, more likely, of copper that's worth basically nothing and is a pain in the ass to haul around, or do you take a couple notes that say $100 on them? Well, I'll take the couple pieces of paper that say, a couple, uh, that say $100 on them. Because I know everyone will take them from me, too. We don't have a choice. It, it doesn't. Our money doesn't need to be backed by gold or silver. It doesn't. It doesn't. I, it doesn't, though. It doesn't matter. All right, I need to take a drink of water. Hold on. Mercs for gas. Let's go sell this straw. Water bike. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. And again, people acted like 
oh, because it's backed by gold, we know exactly how much gold, and gold's so scarce and everything. It's like, like, haven't you seen those shows that they, there's, there's huge companies digging up tons, literally tons and tons and tons and tons of gold every single year. And they're digging up more and more each year. We're not run. It's there's not a fixed supply of that stuff. So if you back your money by that, and then like some company like they keep digging up more and more and more. I mean, the same thing as just printing more paper money. It's like it's not a fixed money supply. That's the whole point. It's not fixed. That the amount of production affects market prices big time. Snickers bars are good. You're buying Twinkies and Snickers? Heck yeah. Fry? What are you gonna air fry? You're gonna air fry a Snicker bar? Wait, what? No, no. You put air. You put Snicker bars in the freezer. That's where Snicker bars go. They go right in the freezer. And then when you need a treat, you pull out one of them frozen Snicker bars and you chew on that for a while. That's the way. That's the only way to do it. definitely one of the favorite snacks on the golf course. You golf nine holes, you go to the clubhouse, you say, give me one of them frozen Snickers bars, and you, you gnaw on that on your way to the tenth hole. Nice little energy, nice cool treat. I'm gonna go hunt zombies like Woody Harrelson? <laughs> what? You're gonna stay in the middle of your farm and watch your cameras? The cameras probably won't work because when the grid goes down, Craig. Unless you got windmills generating your own power. Or solar everywhere. You got your own grid. AI workers completed their task. Awesome. Let's finish this truckload here. Backup power? Yeah, but... That's just a backup. You need to generate your own, too. Family Guy has the weirdest cutaway scene. Yeah, half the damn episodes are just them cutting away and trying to make you member things. Nowadays, I mean, it used to be a little better. Like, the first two or three seasons of Family Guy were mostly pretty good. I, I can't even really watch it nowadays. It's, like, not even that funny. I haven't tried to watch it much lately either, so maybe it is maybe it's gotten funny again and I just never give it a chance. I don't know. It's possible. It's possible. Who's my favorite family guy character? Well, Again, I haven't watched Family Guy in years, probably, at this point. Um, it would probably be... Who is my favorite? I mean, Stewie's cool. He's funny. The dogs, I... Probably, probably just Peter. Probably Peter. You like Quagmire? <laughs> Giggity. No, you like the old man that's always trying to, like, get Chris to come over and take his shirt off or whatever, right? What's the old man? Does he still do that? Or is, or they, or is he not in the episodes anymore because that's not cool? Make a gasifier? Nice. 
Giggity. Herbert the Pervert? Is that his name, really? I don't even know his name. <laughs> his voice actor died? Oh, really? Alright, we have harvested all of our wheat. Look at that. And now we need to start harvesting canola. Canola. Let's do it. Let's start right here. Why isn't this harvesting? Is this not ready to harvest? Oh shit, it's still growing. It's not even ready to harvest. I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun. It's not even ready to harvest. Hold on. Mistakes are made. Am I in the right month? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, uh, wait a minute. We can harvest this. It's just not letting me because I think I planted it in September so I can't harvest it till October. Until August. No, it's not letting me harvest it, so... I guess we gotta wait. I guess we gotta wait on that. That's alright. That's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Ooh, that's a nice John Deere header. Hmm, seven. That's not wide enough. I don't want that one. That's for a little John Deere. Herbert's YMCA song? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Uh, Herbert is another good one. He's very. I figured that would be your favorite, Jordan. Nah, I figure your Quagmire's pretty good. Hmm. You have random cameras set up so you can see people long before they see you. <laughs> like Rambo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what people call... You, just, you got a bunch of wildlife cameras. That's nothing to do with watching people. Exactly. Just a bunch of wildlife cameras. I get it. I get it. Alright, I'm gonna go dump this load. I'm gonna go drop a load here. And, uh... Let's see. The next emoji should be a fall guy golden knight waving. Why would I want that to be an emoji? Why would I want that to be emoji? That might be a good emoji on your channel, because you're a goddamn golden knight. But why would I want that to be an emoji on my channel? I already got a Fall Guys emoji. If I did another Fall Guys emoji, I would need to get, like, I think three more members on my channel before I could do it. 17 viewers watching. Hi, everybody. Alfred, a less go emoji would be good. But you know what? The way it's written, like that, like the little one that you pulled, like the image you pulled, it doesn't really fit well as a YouTube emoji because it's really, it's not very tall, but it's very, very wide. Emojis need to be square in shape on YouTube to really fill up the space. You know what I mean? No, he's not waving. He's Z-snapping needs to be square. So I think if we did that, Alfred, I would have to take the LSK and then maybe put the go underneath it a little bigger so it makes it square. Like, it'd be Lesk go. I could do that, probably, and try to make it a square or, or closer to a square. It wouldn't have to be exactly square in shape. Let's just drop that right there. That might be... That might, yeah, that might be good, EP. Like, exactly. Or, yes, you're right, I could make two emojis that fit together, the LSK and then the GO. So then you'd have to put them in both in. And then, but then you'd have, you'd have a whole bunch of people just type in go, 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 which would be good, or go lesk, go lesk, and Hank would be typing go lesk, trying to say go left. That would be good too, but then I don't, ha I'd have to get rid of one of, I w like if I get three more members I think I need, I'll be able to add one more emoji. But if I wanted to add two more emojis, I'd have to get rid of one of the current emojis. Like, what emoji would I get rid of? Maybe the creeper? Nobody... People really don't use the creeper face that much. 
Either that or the swear jar one. Those are probably my two least used emojis. I can't get rid of ghost Skittles, even though no one ever uses that, because Manda will get mad about that. Hey, Manda, how you doing? I didn't see you come in there. I didn't see you come in there. What's up? <laughs> Jeff Brown, how you going? Let's go. <laughs> Make two emojis. That would be cool. Let's see. Manda says, I just got the best text ever from my first appointment client tomorrow. It said, do you mind if we meet at 10 a.m. tomorrow instead of 9 a.m.? Sure, that'll work. Yeah, another hour in the morning for yourself. Great. That's awesome. Yeah, that's also always good news. Hope you're doing well, Jeff. Manda, hope you're doing good. Banks says, get rid of the creeper face or the ghost Skittles. Yeah, I think creeper face is probably lowest on the list, but we can't get rid of ghost, ghost Skittles. We can't get rid of ghost Skittles, I don't think. Not unless Manda tells us to. Which I don't think she'll tell us. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up rocks in this field now. So we're going to lower the stone picker. Do this. Oh, yeah. Finally, there's going to be no rocks in my field. Finally. Yeah, the creeper face people just don't really... Jordan says, don't get rid of swear jar. Yeah, I kind of like the swear jar one, but... Amanda has a highly used emoji. Come on, man. Yeah, you're the one that uses it. That's the thing, though. You're the one that uses it. I wouldn't say it's highly used. <laughs> I guess it's used a little bit. Alright, so what am I going to do when this thing fills up with rocks? I think I'm just going to dump the rocks out somewhere. I could get, I could put in a debris crusher so I can sell the rocks at my farm. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, that's going to take this guy forever. And this guy's still plowing. Slow as hell. Um, and that, I got, now I got both my tractors being used. Now I got both my tractors being used so I can't go get straw off the other field. Hmm. Yeah, I just hired a worker for the rocks, Craig. Just dump the rocks in the river? Ah, I could. I could. Are there stats? know your emoji used for YouTube no I there are, YouTube it doesn't keep track of like how many people use each emoji no and I don't keep track I just just looking at my emojis the plus one people use that a lot right um, the rant we got to keep the rant right swear jar people don't use that that much they use the swear jar command Spicy chicken spirals and nugs are grandfathered in forever. They'll never go anywhere. They have to stay. The good game one? I mean, that's that's good for any game. That's good for any game. Go Skittles. People don't really ever say that. I don't know. Uh, Fall Guys, I mean, that's like one of the best emojis. Creeper face? Nobody uses that, really. Nobody really uses that. The F in chat? The F, the, the F button's a good one. I, I'm keeping that one. I like the F. I like the F. Why are we talking about getting rid of one? Because Amanda. They want the next emoji to be Lesk Go. Okay? Well, Lesk Go would be really skinny, like, top to bottom, but really wide. So it's really short and wide. So it wouldn't really show up right. YouTube emojis need to be square in shape, roughly, okay? So the alternative is to put LSK at the top and then go underneath. So it's less go. Or I could get rid of one emoji and then add two new ones. One would be LSK and then the next would be go. So less go would be two emojis that you'd have to combine. And then you could also use the go, you could just put go, 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 go if you want, or less, 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 I guess. 99 cents a month helps Kittle by one-fifth of a spike. Well, actually, I get 70 cents of it, so 
<laughs> yeah, but <laughs> YouTube keeps a little bit. What, like no fall guys until we get three more members? Well, no, what I need to do, Alfred, all I'd have to do, I would get more members if I pushed it a little bit. All I'd have to do is tell people next time we play Fall Guys, I'm only playing with people who are channel members. I'm only inviting people to my party who are channel members. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Exclamation point. Banks, he says. You need memberships. Banks needs memberships? Banks, you gotta be monetized first. You're just not there yet. You might get it someday if you keep it up. You're already at 700 subscribers. I don't know how much watch time you have, but you just gotta build up your watch time and then you could get monetized. And Now the problem with you getting monetized, which might be a problem, I don't know, Banks, you'll have to figure that out once you get closer, is at least in America, I believe you gotta be 18 or over. Well, I don't know if that's really the rule. You need to give them tax reporting information. And usually, you gotta be a certain age to do that. So, I don't know what it would be like for Australia. You might have to have your parents fill out some paperwork. Because if you start making money, there might have to be some taxes and stuff. Alright, this guy just got done with that. Where's he going? Worker completed, okay. This guy just got done with this field, but we need to clean up a little bit of this field. I don't know. He might be closer than we think, Albert, because he does a lot of videos. He probably doesn't have tons of watch time, though, because he doesn't do that many live streams. And Banks' live streams, he doesn't leave them up long enough to get tons and tons of watch time. What, okay, I didn't read Jordan's thing. Jordan's favorite is good game. Really, that's your favorite? Of the, you think that's your f the most used? I guess it's used in every game. Yeah. Oh, spicy chicken's way higher than eighth, dude. Spicy chicken's way higher than eighth, George. You're wrong. And eleven. I think creeper face is probably one of the least used. F has got to stay. I know. The problem is, is once right now we're at eleven emojis. Eleven emojis is for channels with forty to fifty members. So you got to get 40 members to unlock 11 emojis. Once I get to 50 members, I can unlock a 12th emoji. Okay, we're pretty close to that. I think last time I checked, I was at 46 or 47. It changes all the time because sometimes people drop and then sometimes people renew. And it changes all the time. I could actually look and see the exact number right now. But um, once we get to the 12th emoji, it's real hard to get a 13th emoji. Then it goes from every 10 to every 25 members. So we'd need to get to 75 in order to get a 13th emoji. So we got to be careful here because the next emoji we get, which is the 12th emoji, is probably going to be the last emoji we get for the foreseeable future because getting up to 75 members is a tall order. All right, I missed some more in the chat here. Hold on, I'm, I can't drive and do this at the same time. Uh, Amanda would allow getting rid of the Skittles to accommodate working less go? Maybe, maybe. I don't know, but I think we could get rid of Creeper first. Don't you think? Don't you think Creeper would go first? It's just exclamation member, I think. Exclamation point member. We'll just make Hut River Province. <laughs> Spicy chicken, nugs, and rant are the best. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. Bob said so. See, Bob, see that, that's why I don't do it yet, Bob. I haven't done it yet because I know there's people that don't have memberships, and I don't know why they don't have memberships. Maybe they just don't like me. Or maybe they can't afford it. Or maybe their parents don't allow them their memberships. Or maybe whatever. Maybe they just don't, they don't think I'm worth 99 cents a month. I don't know what it is. I don't. And I don't need to know it's between that. And you know what? That's fine. I know there's some people that can't afford... Because think about it. If you had to become a member on every channel that you watch... I mean... And let's just say the, av and the average price is not 99 cents. 
a lot of channels charge significantly more than that as their lowest membership fee. So let's just say the average price would be $2, okay? And that's still, some, there's a lot of channels that charge $2.99, $3.99, $4.99 is their lowest membership price, okay? Let's just say if you had to spend $2 a month at each of your favorite channels that you watch, before you know it, you're spending 100 bucks a month just to watch YouTube. And that's insane. That's insane. Nobody should have to do that. Now, if people want to do that and they can afford to do that, that's awesome. And that's great. But 100 bucks a month to be part of you, I mean, that's, I don't think many people can afford that. And I don't think that's reasonable to require people. That's a lot. I mean, because I look at what I spend on my credit card every month on channel memberships. And it's, uh, it's over 100 bucks a month I'm spending on YouTube because I'm supporting a lot of different channels and there's some months that I question that I'm like wow why am I spending so much and sometimes I go through that list of channels and of who I'm supporting and I'm like well yeah but I like that and it's fun to use their emojis and I do enjoy their show enough and when I'm there I want to be a member so and usually I keep most of the memberships every now and then I'll drop one or two of the memberships because I'm like well you know what I haven't really been on that channel that much or or I just have, you know, whatever. Every now, you know, you got to make that decision for yourself based on what, what you watch and what you want to do and what you can afford. So that's why when I made channel memberships on this channel, I made them as cheap as possible. Just because, mostly, just because I wanted to unlock more emojis for those of us that wanted to have fun with the emojis. That's mostly it. Mostly, mostly. Now on my coin channel, I think I think my lowest is, I think I made that a dollar ninety nine. I don't even think I made it ninety nine cents. I could change that to ninety nine cents, and then it would make it easier to get more members. I think, and then maybe I'll get another emoji or two on the coin channel. But I just never changed it. I think when I started it out, I don't know if you could even do ninety nine cents. I don't remember. I don't remember. And what I should do too, like what would, a, what would I should make a higher membership? What would be better than spicy chicken? What would be better than spicy chicken? Because I see there's a lot of coin channels out there in particular, and some gaming channels that have like the flex level of membership. Like it's a level of membership that's so ungodly high that you, that most reasonable people would think no way, no one's ever fucking paying that much per month to this channel. But then people do it. But then people do it just because then, like, they get their name, like, places, and then they get talked about on the channel, and it's just amazing. Like, there's a couple coin channels I watch that have a $99.99 per month membership tier. And I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. you got to be fucking kidding me. But people actually pay it, and I don't understand why. I don't understand why, but I guess... You really want to support that guy? That's great. And I guess if you got the money, it's you. It's your money. I, I just when I set my membership here, I put nine dollars ninety nine cents at the highest because like, I think I'm gonna be a little uncomfortable charging more than that per month. I'd be a little more uncomfortable. And I figure, you know what? If you really want to support me on either of my channels more than ten dollars, you can do super chats. You can send PayPal. There's options for that. I just, I would just feel obligated. And and I know some people do membership tiers like this. If you're sending me more than $10 per month, I'd feel obligated to send you something every month, like a coin or something. And I know some people have their membership tiers like that. Like if you're part of the, the super duper rhodium platinum mega tier, then you get a prize package or a special gift every month where they're probably giving you 20 bucks worth of crap. I get that, but what about memberships in Fall Guys? Sorry, I was playing my game. I was just... Saying if I wanted more members on my channel, I'd tell people the only way I would add them to my party if there's a member. But then there'd be folks like Bob Pop that doesn't have a membership that would get pissed off because we'd never invite them to the party. But I would get more channel members because people would sign up just to play with me. Which I don't know if I want to be making people pay to play with me, you know. Don't forget two of the members are me and two are JW. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, your memberships, if you had them, would be ninety nine, two ninety nine, six ninety nine, and fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, Jordan, Nate, you can. Now, some of the numbers aren't available. You can't just pick anything you want. But um, 
most of those numbers would be choices. Can I stream Fall Guys challenges? No, Banks, I'm not doing Fall Guys. I did my Fall Guys challenges earlier when you sent me a message wanting to do duos, and I said, yeah, I'll do it in 10 minutes, and I got on, and then you didn't respond to me, so I just did my challenges. And then you responded to me like a couple hours later, but... Uh, you're still a member of JW. Yeah, I'm still a member of Big Mill and JW. And when I look at my list of all the people, I'm like, I don't do it every month, but sometimes when I'm paying my credit card bill, I'm like, Jesus Christ. I didn't even think I used this credit card. I, I, for YouTube, I have a, I put it all on a credit card I rarely use for other stuff, just so I can kind of keep track of all the super chats and how much I'm really spending. So I know, wow, I need to tone that down or, oh, okay, that's fine. Either way. Um, but yeah, I don't look at it every month or think about it, but every now and then I look, it's like, well, damn, I should probably uh, get rid of a couple of these memberships or go down a tier or two on some of the memberships or because some of the cha channel memberships, I would do like the four ninety nine or nine ninety nine version. I've gone to a couple of those channels and kicked it down to the ninety nine cent or one, or the, you know, the the swash, the swashbuckler tier like on Mills, you know, <laughs> good that we produce enough content to make the membership totally worth it too can't believe you barely take well no on this channel but on my coin channel i mean i got people that are spending 9.99 a month and am i really giving them enough content i don't know i try to put out a few little videos but am i giving them enough live streams probably not not as much as i did maybe a year or two ago and i mean part of the membership perk on my coin channel is giving people free shipping or half price shipping depending on what level they are so are they getting as much benefit of that if i don't do at least two auctions or two things where i'm selling stuff every month or at least one a month probably not but are people still supporting me yes and i'm thankful for that and like i said i made it 10 bucks as the max so It's not keeping me up at night wondering, like, oh, my God, am I providing them, them enough value? You know, I try I still take it seriously. But if somebody was paying me 50 bucks a month, I'd be, like, worried all month or, like, trying to think all month, like, oh, my God, I got to do something to at least earn that, you know? And I don't want that extra pressure. And, I don't, you know, like I said, if someone wants to spend a little extra bucks, they can already do that. They can already do that. Goddamn not! Oh, you think we should? Have, well, yeah, we got the goddamn not chapel as the, what do you call it? As the member, how long you've been there? The one year membership. EP says forty nine ninety nine a month, and you get a Merc dime towards your gas every month with free shipping. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I could believe it. I could believe it. You know channels that have twenty four ninety. Oh yeah, definitely. I. Craig, I know them that have $99. And I think that's like $149 if you're Canadian. Per month. Per month. Per month. And, and, and you know what? Oh, you said you can't be a member because you don't have a credit card? Yeah, but don't your parents have credit cards? No, no, I, Papa, I totally understand. Not everybody can become a member. Not everybody can become a member. That's fine. Most people just use their parents' credit card with permission, but... That's fine. If you're tempted to stream soon, do it, Jordan. Stream whatever you want. Yep, the swashbuckler tier. Yeah, I usually go for the cheapest one on most channels unless there's some kind of a perk at the higher level that I think I'll be able to use, like free shipping or whatever it is, you know? Or, or if it's just a channel that I really, really like and I'd rather give them more than a dollar or two a month, I'd rather it be five bucks. You know, I've done that. Jeff Brown loves some MKRC. Well, Saturday, I'm going to do an auction. Ah, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. I'm going to do an auction on Saturday. And it's going to be all slabbed coins. All slabbed coins. And I think I might break it into two auctions. I mean, we could do an auction week back to back. Should I give back to the people? What do you guys think? Have I been, like, not streaming as much on Kittle coins that I should go do a back to back auction? auction sad this saturday and next saturday like do two slab auctions in a row i could i got enough i got enough crap i could definitely do that and then uh what we could do is um i'll just tell people 
you buy stuff this Saturday, I'm not shipping anything. I'm not shipping anything until after the second auction. Nah, I don't know if I want to do that, because some people might want their stuff, you know, and... Or I, I would just tell people I will combine... Most people will tell me to wait anyway. If I tell people I'll combine shipping so you only got to pay shipping one time, most people will say just wait till next week. But if you want to pay shipping twice, I guess I'll ship you the, the stuff. That would work. That'll work, I guess. Remember when the Glendale coin swap streams were on YouTube and you actually had monthly content? Damn, son. Damn. No, we, we, we do have the Glendale Coin Club. The next meeting is May 13th on my channel. You will have announcements. You'll hear us say the pledge. You will... Uh, what else will there be? You'll hear... You'll, you'll be able to see people doing show and tell. You won't be able to see the people. What I'm, It'll be basically like what we have on the normal Glendale Coin Club meeting. I'm going to... I'm, I'm getting a camera. I'm bringing it to the meeting. I'm setting up my computer. It'll be pointing down at one of the tables. You'll... Pe while people do show and tell, we'll set the item under the camera. You'll see what they brought for show and tell. You'll be hopefully be able to hear them if they speak up loud enough. No promises. It might sound like shit. It might be a bad meeting. I don't know. We're going to try. We're going to try. Um, and... We're going to try to do it. And then we'll be able to connect with our guest speaker. Because at least for May and June, our guest speaker is connecting to us through Streamlabs anyway. Now, when we have a live speaker in the room, we might have to do it a little differently. Like, I might have to take that same camera and figure some way, if the speaker allows us to do it, tilt it up and show them on camera to do it. But if the speaker doesn't want to be on camera live on the internet, then maybe we'll, you'll just have to hear audio of it, which might not be a good presentation if you can't see what they're talking about. I don't know. But I know we can't have, we can't have the, um, we can't have a uh, auction as part of our monthly meeting anymore because we do an auction in the room live and we can't have the YouTube people be a part of that. It would just be way too slow and we'd never get through the auction and we're, we're, we're limited on how much time we can be in that meeting room. So that'd be, that'd be the major difference on the YouTube meeting next month is there just won't be an auction at the end. And there might not be a giveaway. So I don't know if we can do, I don't know how, if Don's going to be able to be watching the chat, putting everybody's name in a giveaway, I don't know if we can do that. I mean, I could maybe set up Nightbot to do an automatic giveaway, but I don't trust that. I've used Nightbot before. It does not pick up everybody's name. So the channels that use the bot to pick up, it, it believe me, I don't think it works. It picks up most people's names, but I've seen where it doesn't pick up everybody's name when I used it during our uh, Christmas giveaway where we were using Nightbot. It wasn't picking up everybody's name all the time. Marmy Ren is here. What's up, Marmello? What? Go to the Slabbage, do it Saturday and Sunday? I mean, we could do that instead, but... That's just a lot. That just kills my whole weekend if I'm doing two streams day after day. And I know there's a lot of other people on YouTube as well. I don't... I don't want to be doing two days in a row if I don't have to. I'd rather do one day and then give, then wait, wait and do the rest of it another week later. I think, think that's better. Please say yo to Mr. Marmello. Hope you're doing okay, Mr. Marmello. Enough slab stuff? Yeah, I got, you missed the monthly coin displays? Yeah, we'll do the coin club meetings. We're gonna, and just hopefully we'll be able to share the presentations decently. I just don't know how it's going to work if uh, if we have someone just speaking into our meeting live. Like, will, like, I don't know, like, will I be able to just tilt the camera? Like, I know if there are, because there's some speaker people that speak to our club and say they don't want to be on the internet. You know, it's like, okay, fine. They just, they just don't want to. Like, the, whatever reason, fine. So I don't know, maybe we just won't have the, we won't be able to share the presentation that month. I don't know. We're trying to figure it out. Marmelo says beaver dam. What? <laughs> what? Audio rule. Yeah, I guess if you can hear it, I guess it's better than nothing. Even if you're not seeing everything. And I guess if there's any 
visual aids or coins that people show, I guess I could grab them from the guy's hand and show it under the camera and try to make it work. Because not everybody has a PowerPoint presentation. If people have PowerPoint presentations, I'll tell them, send me that PowerPoint presentation in advance. I can have it on my computer, and then I can share it through StreamYards so you can see what we're seeing that way. And they don't. And the speaker doesn't have to do anything with it. You're tired, but good. That's good to hear, Marmelo. Rafe says, yo. Little bird told you not only does Kittle got game, but tomorrow night... You're going to be on the live coin Q&A? Yes. Marmelo, did you hear that? Tomorrow night, 5.30 Pacific, 8.30 Eastern. So in New Zealand, that's going to be... That's going to be uh, like noon, like 12.30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, like 12.30 for you tomorrow, live coin Q&A. Kittle's going to be on the live coin Q&A on Paula's channel with Shannon Smith and Paula. Answering questions about coins. Hmm? Hmm? What do you think? Oh, Alfred, that would have been great. That would have been like the beginning of our first online meeting if I would have brought it. But see, that's not my... That was at the Verdugo Hills Coin Club that meets on Mondays. That's where they had the flag fight. That was not on a... Our Friday meeting's a little more chill. Only one of the guys comes through the Friday meeting, so... On Friday, he was... He put it in the spot he thought was right. But on Monday, they argued. <laughs> live coin... No, no, no ampersand. Just live coin QA. I didn't know if the bot would handle symbols or not. Kittle will be on the live coin Q&A during high tea time. Is that high tea time? About 12.30 p.m. I think it would be his time where it starts. All right, let's check on my rock grabber. I don't think it did the whole field. I think I missed some spots. Let's go check. We picked up uh, 1,500 liters of rocks. How much is a liter of rocks? I don't know. It seems like a lot. I don't know why it missed this patch in the middle of my field. But it did. It didn't have to miss these, but it did. Ow. Look at that beautiful field. Look at that beautiful field now. Okay. All of you are welcome, not just Marmello. Everybody's welcome to the live coin Q&A. To ask questions. If you have any questions about coin collecting or coins or whatever. You'll get it right eventually. There you go, live QA. There you go. One of those has to work. It's supposed to. I probably broke the bot giving it too many bad commands. Just like Bob Pop trying to get access to his YouTube account. All right, so let's check this out. Uh, that is plowed. How is that cultivated? It says this is cultivated. Does me picking up the rocks make it cultivated? Really? Hold on. Okay, we got fertilized. Needs lime. We might want to re just lime all the fields while we're at this doing it. Let's check on needs plowing, and then let's check on stones. So it looks like there might be one little spot we missed plowing. That's okay, though. But we do need some lime. I guess we missed lime at the edges. Lots of rocks. Look at all these rocks in our fields. But this, this field's pretty clean now. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'll probably just wait until the entire field needs lime, and we'll just do it instead of wasting lime right now, liming 90% of the field that doesn't need it.
Let's go. <laughs> Did the command finally work? Did the command not work? I don't think the command worked. Oh, we're, we don't have another coin Q&A competing with us? Really? Seriously? There's only one coin Q&A? Shit. I thought we'd have some competition. Are you sure? Come on, there's got to be at least one other. There's got to be at least one other. Live QA should work. If not, i got to get on the bot and fix Oh, you know what? That was only on the coin channel, Alfred. Never mind. I don't have a live coin Q&A command on the game channel. I didn't put one. My bad. My bad. I forgot I had two bots. My bad. <laughs> okay, let me try to... Oh, I gotta, you know what? i got to sit up in my chair a little bit and try to read Marmelo's comment. Hold on. Let me, let me sit up here. All right, let's go. High noon question teacup without handle teacup without handle teacup without handle times uh, shoes tea out for gold yeah huh gun squirt gun squirt gun squirt gun cow milk milk kitty and then some blonde dude getting shot with a squirt gun gotcha gotcha yeah but if you guys go to my community tab on my uh, coin channel I put a community post with the link to the live coin Q&A <laughs> yeah see the F, F in chat works it comes into play sometimes doesn't it okay there's that stuff there's this yeah Really, no contracts to speak of, except a couple cultivating jobs. Uh, I'm so glad we can get the rocks out of our fields, finally. It's been so long. Finally. Finally. You guys all know how to find the live coin Q&A. You just fucking type in live coin Q&A in the search bar, and it pops right up. <laughs> you should all be subscribed to it anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Pick it up rocks. This guy's... Oh, this guy's plowing right through the straw. You know what? That's fine. You know what? If I miss a little bit of straw because... It's plowing it under. That's fine. I, I only got two tractors. I can't... That's That was the... That, this was the bad part of uh, selling that other tractor. High noon tea might night out for gold. Oh, that's a night out? Shout out. No, shoe plus tea. It's a shoe plus tea. That's shout out for gold. Shout out for gold. It's shout out. Now it's shout out. And then male plus K is milk. It's shout out. <laughs> oh man. But what's it all mean? We don't know. What's it all mean? <laughs> shout out. <laughs> What about the? What do you mean? Shout out for gold? Are we gonna? Uh, what are, is uh? Is Shannon gonna do a gold giveaway during the live coin Q and A? Is that what he said? Is that what he said? He's gonna do a. Uh, he's gonna do a gold giveaway. Maybe. You gotta be there to find out. You gotta be there to find out. Jordan's editing a video there, and you just finished. Nice. Yeah, maybe he's gonna give away some gold. I think that's maybe what Marmelo's 
put in there. Maybe because Shannon said that he's giving away gold. I don't know. Maybe I got that wrong. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out tomorrow night. I guess we'll find out tomorrow night. There was a gold giveaway at Grove, you think? Oh, at the old Walmart? <laughs> That's okay. No, yeah, there... I saw some things that say they're giving away, like, a quarter ounce of gold or something. That's one of the prizes, I guess. Like, for people that attend. Something like that. I don't know. Which is good. A lot of coin shows do that. A lot of coin shows have prizes. At our coin shows, we usually give one ticket to every... Like, when you get admission, you get, like, a raffle ticket. Everybody gets a raffle ticket. And sometimes you have to be there to win for some of the prizes. Like, we do an... Like, at the one we do in August, we do a... Uh, oh, it's a quarter ounce and a tenth. Cool. Um, we do silver prizes every half hour. No, the one we do in August is every hour. The one we do in October, we do silver prizes. So the October one's easy. We do silver prizes every half hour. Like, every half hour we give away... Um, I think we were doing Silver Eagles last show. So every half hour we give away a Silver Eagle to somebody that's there. And what that does is, you know, we get people to show up for that, of course. And when people are there at the show, if they look at their watch or their phone, because nobody wears a watch anymore... They will say, oh, wow, well, they're going to do another drawing in 10 minutes, so we might as well stay. And then they look around and buy more coins. You know, so it keeps people in the room. It keeps, keeps the show busy. And the dealers like when the show is busy. And then what we do is we say, hey, if anybody wants any extra chances for the prizes, we sell extra tickets for a dollar each. Or we do six tickets for $5. Or 12 tickets for $10. Or 25 tickets for 20 bucks. So we get a lot of the dealers and people that help with the show. People that... The, the people that know they're going to be there all day anyway, so they're not going to miss any of the drawings, they'll buy it at 20 bucks worth of tickets just so they have an extra chance to win one of the Silver Eagles. So it helps... We pretty... All that... That raffle, the, day, the, hour, the half hourly prizes that we do, basically pays for itself. And then usually the last prize of the day, which it's kind of, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's in the same raffle. The last prize of the day is usually like a 10th ounce of gold or something better. Or we've done like a five ounce America the Beautiful quarter or something like that. And we do that as the last prize of the day to keep people there until the end. And because we know, and as and to give back to the dealers because we know usually the only people that are going to be there at the very, very end of the show are the dealers and the people from the club that work at the show. But we do get some regular folks that are customers that came for the day staying until the very end to see if they win the gold. But usually it goes to one of the dealers or one of the people helping with the show that have paid extra for tickets anyway. Um, the one we do in August, that's the one we do through like the regional group. We, we usually give away uh, 25 gold coins, and the clubs sell tickets for months and months and months in advance, back in years before China virus made that difficult. Um, and those, that everybody would put their name and phone number or name and address on the tickets, and you would not have to be there to win. You would not have to be there to win those, because we would sell much less, much fewer tickets if we required you to be there to win. And that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. Hmm. I think I'm chipping into that field a little bit when this guy turns around. How's my rock picker doing? Ah, shit. My rock picker filled up. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, San Dimas High School uploaded already? They upload their morning announcements the day before? Are you kidding me? No, really? Hype, Bob Pop. Everything's different, but the same. Things are more moderner than before. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. So stupid. Okay, where am I going to put these rocks? Where am I going to put these rocks? Do I just dump them on the ground for now? I could buy the debris crusher. I could buy a debris crusher. You know what? Let's look into it. Let's just look into this. 
I forgot how big they are. They're not that big. So let's go to production, selling points. Debris crusher. And they're only 10 grand. Look at how little this is. This ain't that big. I think we should buy this, right? Where am I going to put it, though? Yeah, I could sneak it, like, right here. Put it right here on this road. But I like having that road there. Road. Ruids. Ru road. Ru roads. Roads. L limit. 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 Uh, take the rocks to the river and dump them in the water. You feel like you'll be watching this later? Okay. Well, if you got to go watch San Dimas High School now, you better go, uh... You, you, you can go do that first. I know that's important to you. I could put this, like, right over here is where I really could put it. I mean, this isn't really in the way. But I think I'm going to put... Oh, dude, I forgot. I forgot you could do power. I was going to put solar panels here. Oh, yeah, I got to put solar panels around. So where would I put this? Where else could I put this? I mean, I could swing this around like this. Uh, it doesn't... Uh, let me put it sideways here. I could put it, like, right here. But it would then it would then be maybe, like, running into it when I'm exiting my barn. It's, I don't love that spot. Can I put it... Oh, if I could sneak it right here, that would be beautiful, but I can't. Just, like, right there along the road. Oh, I could put it right there. Back up. Back. I could put it here. I could put it... There, there, there. I could put it right here. I could put it right here. That's like totally out of the way, right? Um, put it on the lime pile. Now this is pretty tucked away. I like this right here. Uh, fuck it. We'll do it live. Boom. There you go. Hopefully the cars don't crash into it. So let's fold up the stone picker. Hope that works there. Hope I did that right. Sell some stones. How much money are we going to get for this? Did we get our 10 grand back? No, we got $306. We got $306. <laughs> Probably should have dumped them in the river, Craig. We got $306. I got $300. Oh, I just got a trophy. Rock on. Oh, it was totally worth it then. We just got a rock on trophy. Uh oh, Marmelo had a blo blocked message by YouTube. Uh, let me reveal that. I'm gonna unpack that in a little bit. Wow. That's impressive, Marmelo. It's impressive that you can fit that all into one message. Alright, lower stone picker, turn it on. Wow, okay, what are we going to do here? It was so good. Bob, <laughs> the announcements for San Dimas were good. Marmelo, did you see the new San Dimas High School command that we put in? Exclamation S-D-H-S. Did you see that? Marmelo says, good luck, Shannon, at Bob, and hypey for high... I don't know what that is. Speaking... Speak Inca, I don't know, gold, and water guns, and sun time, sunshine, and shoot, shoot, shoot out, shout out, and up, and 
Aha, uh, triangle schools. And triangle schools and triangle rulers and... Is he basically saying San Dimas High School football rules? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if that's what it, I don't know if that's what it is. <laughs> Marmello. Everything is different, but the same. Things are more moderner than before. Bigger and yet smaller. It's computers. San Dimas High School football rules. Uh, Marmelo does not subscribe to San Dimas High School morning announcements. I'm pretty sure of that, Bob Pop. I think you're the only one. You and the students of San Dimas High School. You're the only ones. You are the only ones. <laughs> He's hyped for morning high school announcements, too. Oh, is he? Hypey for high ink. Uh, is that morning? Yeah, morning. Shout school rules. Yeah, rulers. I don't, the triangles were confusing me, but I see ruler and z. It's got to be rules. Bob does not go to San Dimas High School. Yeah, I didn't think so. What I was shocked at is I forgot what the mascot for San Dimas High School. I think someone told me it's like the knights or the something um i was shocked that it's not the stallions like how could they not be the wild stallions at san dimas right how is that possible that they're not the wild stallions like somebody had to have like proposed that at some point oh this guy finish up good Back him up. Straighten that out a tiny bit. Lower the plow. That's going to make me come back and get them a couple little dots, isn't it? Isn't it? It sure the hell is. You know San Dimas. <laughs> I've been to San Dimas, Bob Pop. Have you ever been to San Dimas? Remember Breakfast Club? Yeah, I remember. That was in Illinois. I forgot what city in Illinois they're supposed to be in, but it's Illinois. I don't even, it's probably not even a real city in Illinois. It's probably like just some Hollywood made up city. But I don't know if, if it was really filmed in Illinois, but I know it's supposed to be Illinois. Yeah, Gringo, if you're watching this back later with the live chat, please don't delete all of Bob Bob's comments after the fact. You can only do that here when you're live. <laughs> field's plowed, man. I plowed it. I plowed it good. Plowed it real good. Now we just got rocks to pick up. I think we're ready to skip ahead to the next month. Or are we ready to be done done playing games? 
Oh, it's one in the morning. Wow. Okay, maybe we're maybe we're done for the night. Maybe we're done for the night. I don't know. Let's go put the plow. Let's actually I gotta look into something here. I gotta look into something first. Let's just put the plow down right here for for fun. And what we gotta do is we need to look into construction. And we need to look into production. We need to look into generators. Is this really what we need to do to get tons of money? Sell the house and get an RV? I mean, we could. We sure could. Uh, let's see. Amanda says, Mike, haha, I finally found the SDHS graduation video you're scrolling through. And it's funny, the valedictorian wearing a panda robe. I didn't even watch any of that, Amanda. I didn't watch that. I'm in my PJs, and I didn't, I didn't watch any of that. I just saw in the con... Well, what I did is I went to see, like, what their most popular videos were, just to see if they even mentioned anything about Bill and Ted or whatever, because I figured those would be the most popular. And then I clicked on that one, and then I looked in the comments, and someone said, go right to 18 minutes or whatever, and, like, that's the only reason I found it. Remember Reckless? I remember. I remember. Uh... They, so the, they were just wearing their PJs and the stupid thing. That's funny. Amanda said the Keanu one, yeah. Did we see the kids do the morning announcements, Amanda? We better watch the morning announcements so you can tell Bob Pop to... No, Bob Pop, Gringo likes hype with three or fewer exclamation points. He doesn't like four or more exclamation points. He doesn't. Marmelo says one love koala heart. God, I don't know what those things are. Is to sub to the high school football go stallions. <laughs> They're not the stallions, though. They're not the stallions, Marvello. They should be the stallions. 5 a.m. for Chris. Uh-oh. One more noon tea time break. Heartbreak? <laughs> Broken heart? What? The dude that found a box full of Merc Dimes? Hi, Chris. Found a box full of Merc Dimes? Wait a minute. Like, a box full? That sounds crazy. That, 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 that sounds made up, for sure. It's 10 p.m. for Manda. Exactly. Yeah. You watch the morning announcements, Manda? Is it, do we, it something we need to go watch? Bob seems really excited that you watched... The morning announcements for a high school that's like 2,000 miles from you. Alright, so here, let, okay, here, here's what we gotta do. We got solar collectors. These things cost, right here, $93,000, okay? $93,000 rooskies. But they generate $8,900 a month. It seems like that pays for itself in 11 months. And then after that, it's free money. It's free money. Should we pop one down just to get some free money? I think we need to try this, right? Is that straight? Not really, is it? I'm trying to line up with the porch. I think that's about as straight as I'm going to get. Should we pop one of these fuckers down and... On the roof? Overlaps with another object. Overla you can't. No. Doesn't let you. I can put it in the driveway and then block my car. But it fits right here. Should I get one of these? I mean, really, I should get a whole bunch of them. I should take out loans to get these. Because a loan for 300000 pays only $1,000 a month of interest. But if this generates 8900 I could just keep getting loans and then buying these. And then paying off the loans and then buying them. Get 10 I only got... I got enough to get two. But I need to save some money to buy more equipment, I, I think. I don't, I don't want to spend my whole budget.
Like, is this where I want it? It's kind of out of the way. I don't think it's going to be in the way. Sell the... I'm not going to sell the house! I'm not going to sell the house because it's going to leave, like, a weird, like, footprint there. I like the house. I don't want to live in a trailer. I don't want to live in a trailer, Alfred. I don't. I don't want to be a trailer park boy. I don't. You sent a lot of dimes to NGC, really? Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, Chris said, no, it's real. You got a box of dimes from your bank dated 1942. What? Did you do a video of this? Like, you're talking $250 face value of dimes dated 1942. $250 face value, a box of dimes. Were they like, un and if they're all dated that, were they uncirculated? I've never heard of that. That doesn't sound real. How could you not have a video or lots of photos of that? And how many, and there's got to be over dates in there too, potentially. 42 over 41s. How can you not have a video of that? Let's see here. You have to think outside the box. Let's go, Brandon. Says money is free. I know. Sell the house. Alfred wants me to sell the house. You want to live in your trailer so I can get go to Grove? Now nah, I don't. I don't want to go to Grove that bad, Alfred. For sure, good. Let's go, Zan. God, I don't know. Let's go, Zan. Something deem San Dimas Solar Power Rules. <laughs> he says it's San Dimas, Vanda. That's San Dimas. <laughs> no way, Bob. Got too much work to do and can't spend five hours flying and a couple hours driving. Oh, Bob wants to know if you went to San Dimas. And say hi to their bus driver tomorrow. Oh, the, the schools in California don't have buses usually. Everybody has to drive their kids to school. At least around here. Never been touched, huh? Wow. Well. And you're sending it to NGC? Seriously, if that's real, if that's real, which I still think is a big if until I see pictures or a video, because I've never heard of anything like that. And I've been in, dealing in coins for... 30 years now. Um, that's something you, where you send the entire box sealed to PCGS or NGC. Don't touch it. Don't open any rolls. And they'll give a special deal. Grade every single one of them with a hoard. You, you call it the so-and-so bank hoard. Or you name it after yourself, the Garcia hoard. And you get every single one of them slabbed. And then that gets sold to, like, Home Shopping Club for, like, tons of money. And they'll sell all those fuckers for, like, 300 bucks each after they write a few articles about the find. That's what would really happen in that case. That's, I mean, that's a lot of NGC grading. Well, if that's the case, I'm confident if you sent all those to NGC and you sent them like that, I'm sure NGC will be writing a big article about that. Because anytime something crazy like that comes in for grading, they write it up. I guess we'll just buy one of these, right? There we go. We got solar panel now. We got some solar. Now I'm curious to see how much see the money roll in. I hope it starts rolling in. 139 grand is what we got. I'm paying a worker to do something. What are we paying them to do? Oh, this. Okay. Paying them to collect these rocks. They said... Something... They said, so thank you to bus driver tomorrow, so... Do I need to get to... No, you don't need to go to San Dimas. You don't need to go to San Dimas. You don't, Bob. San Dimas ain't that great. But Zan Dimas is pretty cool. Gotta love Zan Dimas. <laughs> remember the movie Falling Down? I remember that movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go. I just don't believe it, Chris Garcia. I don't believe one bit of it. I just don't. It's unbelievable. And if it's true, I hope it really is true for you. That's how the, that's how you come up with the term unbelievable. That's what kind of a fine that would be. Unbelievable. Because I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't. I mean, you're talking over $100,000 worth of coins there. If it's really uncirculated dimes and you get them graded out, with, without a doubt, unless you're just not marketing it correctly or you don't know what you're doing with it, every one of them you could sell for at least 50 bucks each. That's $125,000. Unbelievable is what I say to that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And unbelievable that not only would that something like that be around that long, either turned into the bank that way or kept at the bank that long, but unbelievable that nobody took a picture on their cell phone and it's not in the not on the front page of Coin World right now. Unbelievable. Now I could understand too. Maybe you know if you find have a fine like that, maybe you want to decide how you release the information on it too. Maybe it's like, well, I don't have to send Kittle a fucking photo. I get that, but you know, I believe if that. It's a real thing. We'll all see proof at some point. And I hope that's the case. I hope that's the case. All right. Let's see here. Oh, I understand, Chris. You might want to not want to make things too public, but you got to have a plan for it all. And you want to preserve... The record, because if you're telling everybody that's where it came from, there better be pictures of it, the full box together. There better be pictures of them sealed in rolls. And almost any grading company and anybody that would advise you on how to handle that kind of thing would tell you to send it all together with the box and everything to one of the grading companies to have a special label mented up just for this hoard. Nobody would tell you to open those up and send in just some of them. You'd get every single one of them graded. You'd make a deal with the grading company. It'd be really cheap. And every single one of them would get slabbed and preserved as with, with, the, with the provenance of coming from that find. Because once you take them out of those rolls, nobody knows that that dime came from that roll or that find. And the value is cut in half at least. At least in half. All right. So hopefully you've done it and you've done it right. And hopefully we'll get to hear about it and see it someday. But until then, I don't believe it. I, I Again, by definition, that's how that word comes from. It's unbelievable. I'm not calling you a liar. I wouldn't do that. I don't know you that well. But I just say that's unbelievable. And I'm sure you can appreciate that. Bob was watching a guy with 40,000 viewers today. And his chat was fast. Yeah, Bob, I've been in some of those chats like... Uh, like when they do space launches, there's a couple people to do the broadcasts of um, of some of the launches, and there'll be like twenty or thirty or fifty thousand people. It just gets crazy busy. Marmelo says, "I'll be back." <laughs> All right, Marmelo, but I might be done. I should be done already. I'm just waiting for this field to get finished. I guess for some reason, I don't know why I'm. I can stop right now, but I just want to finish this field. Bob says, like, playing on baseball fields that have real grass. Oh, you like playing on... Bob, don't all the fields you play on have real grass? Or do you play... You play on fields that have, like, fake grass? Really? I know, like, some of the bigger, like... I guess maybe some of the high school and college... You know, I know colleges sometimes have artificial turf. How much money did I make in Farm Sim? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Probably not that much. I keep spending it. I keep spending it, Zach. All right. Well, we've skipped through several of these months, so we missed it. But March, April, May, and June, we made 4,800 to 4,300 a month. This month, we're down 58,000 because we bought solar panels and the rock crusher. That cost us 103,000. 
but we've uh, got 26,000 of harvest income, 27,000 of contract income, minus some fertilizer and wage payments. Um, but we're up to 139 grand. That's where we're at, up to 139 grand. But that solar panel cost us some money. And I'm a little curious to see when do we get paid for the solar income. Property income, I think that's at $372. I think it pays it to us every hour. So let's just speed this up a little bit for fun and see if it pays me more solar income. Hold on, how do I do this? We'll go here. We'll go from time scale from real time to times 15 for a little bit. That's not fast enough. We need to go to times 60. So... Once it gets to 12 o'clock, so in 45 seconds, hopefully we'll get some income. Hopefully we'll get some income. If you win it, I'll... Do I sell my ring for winning? Oh, if you win it all, do you sell your ring? No. Bob Pop, you never sell your World Series ring. Or your college World Series or whatever you do. No. The only way you get one of those is by winning the series. Why would you sell something like that? And tr remember, remember Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Okay, wait, hold on. We're gonna um, get to noon here. Let's see if I get money for the solar panel. Let's see. Minus 89 wage payment. No, I didn't get any money. Well, shit. I still at... But I got property income, 744. It went from 300 up to 744. Let's check that again when it gets to one. Remember Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I don't remember which one. But remember the they were like all offering Charlie Bucket all the money for his golden ticket? And the shopkeeper goes, don't you dare sell that for something as common as money. Or no, Grandpa told him that. They're printing more money every day, but there's only five of them golden tickets in the whole world. How? Why would you sell it for something as common as money? No, same thing with your World Series ring, Bob Pop. You wouldn't sell it. There's tons of money in the world, but there's only a certain number of World Series rings. Only a certain number of them. The box of 250 dimes was in a wooden box. Well, boxes of dimes have 2,500 dimes. Is a box of dimes. 50 rolls. So if you're talking something different, that would be 250 dimes is something different. That's five rolls. So I don't know what that is. Maybe that's something different. I don't know. I guess I'll wait and see. I guess I'm just going to have to wait and see. That's why I said 2,500 dimes times 50 bucks each minimum and who knows they could be much much higher that'd be a hundred twenty five thousand dollars but 250 is something totally different and i don't know what that is then who knows i guess we'll see i guess we'll have to wait and see all right let's see let's fold up this stone picker we'll go sell the stone since it's almost full game's being a little glitchy because I got the time running at 60 times. It's fine. We'll get this big money from these stones, a whole $300 or so. $300 on the button. Right on the nose. We got, uh, let's see how, uh, let's see how. Uh, oh, these fields look so pretty. Nice and plowed. Not a single rock in the field. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. Oh, this field needs work. Unfold picker. Lower picker. Turn on picker. Right, 
that's that. Um, I think what we're going to do now is let's check our finances again. Oh, yeah, we're up to $1,860 of property income. Yeah, so what it does is it pays it to you every hour, a, por a percentage of what it generates the whole month. So it's just constantly kicking you a few bucks. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's see here. What else am I missing in chat? Monkey King, it will find eight Canadian cents. Nice. Never sell your values. There you go. Amanda did the real deal farm today. So Zach, not World Series if you won your baseball for this year. Oh, Bob Pop, do you get a ring for winning like at your level? I don't know. Well, that's different. Yeah, I mean, do whatever you want with that. Unless it's something really important to you, I guess. Then don't sell it. But I think if you won something major, like something everybody in the world would be impressed with, like the World Series or the College World Series or Minor League or something like a major thing, you, you don't sell that. How dare you? Unless, I mean, unless it means putting food on the table for your kids or something. But if you, if you can avoid it, you don't sell it. If you're in the MLB one day, want to go to my World Series? Oh, yeah, Bob, if you could hook me up with some good World Series tickets... I would definitely go. I would definitely go. Absolutely. <laughs> right, Alfred? Details are, well, like a mom and pop story. Uh-oh. Got to go to work. All right, Chris, take care, dude. Thanks for popping in. Any word on the cone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, I got to slow down time again. I forgot time. Oh, 2600 bucks of income? That's nice. That's like free money. This is going to roll in, even though I spent 90 grand to do it. I mean, really, that's how you beat this game, apparently. You just put tons of solar panels down every time you get money, and there's nothing else to do, right? You don't even need the farm. Why waste your money growing crops when you can just put down a solar panel that pays for itself in a year? Right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Oh, look at how clean these fields look. Oh, my God. It looks beautiful. It looks so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this worker from working. I'm going to go back to my farmhouse. Oh, watch out for that solar panel. Can I get up on it and jump on it? Wouldn't it be funny if this thing just cracked when I jumped on this and then I just lost $93,000? Wouldn't that be funny? No, it wouldn't be funny is the answer. No, it wouldn't. Go into the next month. Let's see what this thing says. Thirty-three hundred of property income. There we go. It gave me money. It gave me money. That's sweet. That's hella cool. Oh, it moves to the sun. Oh my god. Look at it. It turns to go to the sun. I don't know why that shocks me, but that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. If you're just in the MLB, want to come just to an... Oh, yeah, absolutely, Bob Pop. I would come to a game. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Manda would come too, probably. If you're in a if you're in an MLB game, we'd we'd go we'd go to it. Realistic solar, yep, totally worth it. Totally worth playing this game for five hours till one thirty in the morning. Now we can harvest canola. This guy's picking up more rocks for us. Woohoo! 
Noah said he would go too. Nice. We could all, dude. Everybody would go, Bob, and we, and you know what? We could probably rent one of. Like, you know, since you're a big fancy MLB player, then you could probably hook us up with one of the uh, one of the stadium suites or whatever, so we could all go together and like be in the same suite and party it up, watching us some Bob Pop. Okay, so we got that going for us. We should probably check what's in here. A couple smaller tractors, not what we want. A small plow, not what we want. We should also check what's in here. Harvesting contract, oh yeah. Oh, but it's potatoes though. No, I almost wanted, I just wanted that money. 27,000. Hmm. Hmm. We eat shrimp cocktails and barbecue and have some comfy chairs. Yeah. And all and and uh, and have our own like little beer keg in there. So we don't have to like go to the concession stands. And as many hot dogs as you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I don't want to do any of these contracts, so that's out. I think what we do here with this guy is we're going to need to start plowing the next field. I don't want to get too close to... Hmm. I want to get too close to our harvester, though. I don't want to be running up on our harvester, so we'll probably wait just a little bit before we start this. We're gonna end this. I can't be streaming too much more longer. I gotta, I gotta work tomorrow. I got a special appearance on somebody else's channel tomorrow, so I'm gonna be on the live coin Q and A uh, and answering questions and stuff. So if you guys got any questions about coins or coin collecting, get them ready. And you know what would even be cooler? If you emailed me the questions in advance. If you guys actually are going to have any questions, if you emailed me or sent them to me on Discord in advance, then I could have answers prepared and I would sound so much smarter than everybody else. It would be really cool if you guys would do that for me. Wouldn't that be great? Like if I knew Alfred was going to ask Kittle, what's your favorite classic commemorative half dollar? If I knew that, I could say, well, Alfred, that's an excellent question. Many would many would think that my favorite would be this, you know, and I'd have something prepared about why people would think that's my favorite. But in actuality, my favorite is this one because of blah, blah, blah. It would be great. It would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Marmello says, sell the house. <laughs> Sell the house? What? <laughs> also, check email. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> check email. Oh man. You got to go to an NBA suite at the Canucks game? That's an NHL. S oh, you got to go in a suite. I thought. You, excuse me, I thought you were trying to say NBA. Check email. Alright, let me check email. What email do I gotta check? Let's see. Um, I don't have anything there. I don't have anything there. I don't have any emails from Marmy Ren or Marmello, no. I don't have any emails. I don't see any emails. Is he talking about Discord? Let me check Discord. I don't see any Discord. Alright, I don't know. I don't see it. Hey, Phil the board, what's up? 
The beaver, of course. <laughs> like 10 years ago. Bob did a Gmail. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. I'm not... Oh, there's Bob Pop. <laughs> That's a pretty good question, Bob. So you know what? I will have an answer for that prepared. So if you actually show up... If you actually show up and ask that question, all of us will probably take turns answering it, and I will have an answer prepared. And I will have an answer prepared. For what is... I'm not even going to say your question. I'm not going to say your question. Because I don't want the others to be as prepared as me. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> uh, no, my favorite is not the beaver half. What time will it be? 5.30 Pacific. 5.30 p.m. Pacific. And it goes for about an hour or so. So 5.30 p.m. Pacific. On the live coin Q&A. And you know what? I can put a link in right here. Hold on. Let me do this. Since I screwed up the thing before. Live coin Q&A. Click here. Click here. Copy that. Go here. That's the link. That's the link to live coin Q&A. That's the link right there. <laughs> oh. Gmail is sus on Android. Uh-oh. Were you trying to Gmail me? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything on that email. Let me check my phone. Because sometimes I get things that... Mikey! Mikey, what are you doing here? Mikey, you're supposed to be in bed. Mikey. Is that really Mikey to put that in? Oh, he just got up. Oh, yeah, he had, yeah, because he has to get in the... He has to go somewhere at 5 in the morning. It's 4.30 in the morning for him. Oh, shoot. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, Mikey. I guess that means it's time for us to get ready to end the stream. Let's go sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes? No, Marmello, you're Marmello's. Remember like about hey everybody, remember in the stream about ten minutes ago? I looked at the contracts and says I don't want to do that one because it's potatoes. That's where Marmello is watching right now, about ten minutes ago. He's at least ten minutes behind. No, Marmello, we're not gonna do the potato contract. And by the time you hear this part of the stream, we've probably ended the stream, so... Thanks for watching, Marmello, and hopefully you're there at the live coin Q&A during your high tea time, and... <laughs> Mikey's having cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Let's go! No, no, he ain't gonna eat no life cereal. I bet you, you know what? Without Mikey even saying it, I bet you Mikey, if you ask him what kind of cereal he likes, he'll probably say something like, Oh, I don't like cereal. Because he, he says that, like, when you ask him, like, certain things, he's like, Oh, I don't like bacon. Oh, I don't like... What else did he not like? He liked something something else that he didn't like that was like... Yeah. I bet you he'll say, I don't like cereal. <laughs> uh, what kind of cereal do you like, Mikey? I wonder what kind of cereal he likes. <laughs> No cheese or ketchup on cereal. <laughs> yeah, Alfred, why would anybody eat cereal when they can eat perfectly good scrambled eggs and sausage and toast, right? <laughs> Apple Jacks. I like Frosted Flakes. It's like pure sugar. How could you not like Frosted Flakes? Frosted Flakes are good. Amanda used to be big in the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> Mikey says, I only eat oatmeal and cinnamon rolls and scrambled eggs and sausage and toast and fried eggs, lol. <laughs> Can you ask a Fall Guys in the coin Q&A? Probably not, Bob Pup. I don't think they're going to take questions on Fall Guys. Paula might do it just to be funny, though. 
So if you do ask one, they might let one through, Bob. But if they tell you no questions about Fall Guys, you need to be on your best behavior there, because it's not my channel, and one of the mods there might lock you if you get too crazy. So... <laughs> So, if you try to ask one, maybe they'll let it through. I did see your email. I did see your email. I'll be ready for that one. I got an answer already. If you're in the MLB, Bob Pop will be your nickname. So, Bob Pop, when we when we go after the game, we're going to when and all of us go wait near the players' parking lot for you guys to get out of the locker room and get ready to go home. And you're getting into your uh, Ferrari or whatever. Or you're, you know, Bob, Bob, you're probably going to be a little class here. You're probably just going to have a big old Mercedes. You'll be getting in your Mercedes to drive home to the wife and kids and everything. But then, like, we'll be standing there up against the fence going, Bob Pop, Bob Pop, you know. Will you come over and sign autographs and sign them Bob Pop as your nickname? Like, will you sign, like, I'll have your rookie card. Will you sign a copy of your rookie card? Or will you just look at us and go, Sorry, folks, I gotta go. I don't have time for autographs. Hopefully you'll sign autographs for your fans. Hopefully you won't be one of those guys that just gets in your Mercedes and takes off. Yeah, I mean, oatmeal. I'm surprised he eats oatmeal. I was kind of shocked that Mikey says oatmeal. <laughs> Monkey King adds more sugar to Frosted Flakes. I don't do that. I think Frosted Flakes has enough sugar. <laughs> I'm good with it. You know what's really good, though? After you eat Frosted Flakes and there's milk left, you put more Frosted Flakes in there, and then the milk gets even more sugary, and then it gets even more sugary. So by the time you're on, like, so you use a small bowl, so you just keep pouring more in. And, uh, yeah, the keeps getting more sugary and more sugary as you add more. It's really good. Alfred says Shannon can be mean. I didn't say it's going to be Shannon. It'll be one of those other people on the panel that I don't even know who they are. There's some people on there like I have like what's the one ghouls and coins? I don't know what the hell ghouls and coins is. I hope I'm not defending anybody or but I just don't know who that is. So I know they're on there sometimes and then there's there's a couple other people I don't even know who they are on the live coin queue. But I'm going to be I'll be respectful and everything. I'm not going to make like a big deal about it but no, it'll probably be somebody like that that'll time them out because they don't know who Bob Pop is. <laughs> and he's got too many exclamation points in his name. <laughs> All right. This guy is almost done. I think I'm just going to finish this field. I think that's what we're going to do. Did the other guy fill up with rocks? Oh, he's filled up with rocks. Oh, man. Yeah, that's what I mean, Alfred. You just don't... I don't, I don't know who they are either, but... <laughs> Mun... Mun... Mike... Def needs more... Mikey... Mon, Mikey, Def needs tea and sausage. <laughs> yeah, Mikey, Marella says you need to drink tea and have sausage. That's not how I spell sausage, but that's how, basically how I pronounce sausage. I'm from Chicago. That's how we say sausage. Sausages. Polish sausage. Italian sausage. Breakfast sausage. Oh, Bob Pop could make a could make a coin channel and be called Bob Pop Coins. He could. He absolutely could. Or he could do like the whole uh He could do just like Rob and it could be Bob Finds Treasure. It could be Bob or Bob Pop Finds Treasure. Or he could take like uh It could be Bob Pop Coins and Hobbies. Yeah, they have maple breakfast. Like the maple links. Alfred, they got those. And some of them, like, depending on which ones you get, actually taste good. Like, they taste like real maple. Others just are so artificial tasting, like, they almost make you want to gag. I 
never really. I, I was. I, I mean, we used to get them when we were younger sometimes. Um, but I kind of just like regular like breakfast sausage better without the maple flavoring. They also have sage. A lot of them have like extra sage or whatever flavoring. Never really was into that too much either. I just like right because like if I'm having it all for breakfast, um, if I want maple syrup, I can just put maple syrup right on my sausages. You know, I got I got maple syrup. I don't need it inside my sausage. Bob Pop's gonna come in there and oh he added coins to the end of his name. Bob Pop coins. <laughs> How do you go off stream? You need to. Oh, do we is it time for bed, Bob Pop? You like the spicy breakfast sausages, do you? Mm. Sounds like Craig likes a hot sausage in his mouth from time to time. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if we could get Mikey to try foods for cash. I don't think so. I bet you if you had toned Morgan dollars, though. That would be a good video. Like, if I did a video where I had, like, a toned Morgan or a toned Franklin half dollar, and I say, I'll give this to Mikey as long as he, you know, does this, eats this, or whatever. We could, we could probably get him to eat something. What do you think? It'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Let me line this guy up. He was starting to go the wrong direction. We're just going to line that up, like, right there. That guy's going to... We're going to line this guy up right here so we kind of know what we were going to do. Gonna plow that. This guy is empty, so let's go empty him out. Or he's full. That's how we got to empty him out. Tone Morgan for eating a link. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't want anybody to eat haggis. That sounds gross. No, like, give him a Tone Morgan if he eats like one green bean or something like that, right? Or one broccoli with no cheese, just broccoli. Wonder if he would do it. Wonder if he would do it. I don't know if I would do it. Think gas prices are expensive, you guys? And can of maple syrup's 80 bucks a gallon? Is that how you guys buy it, by the gallon? I figured you guys bought it by the liter. 80 bucks a gallon, that's crazy. I mean, it's good, though. I mean, that's probably killing the Canadian economy. Are you guys going to get special, uh... What do you call it? Special checks from the government? You gonna get like a stimulus check so you can buy maple syrup or maple syrup vouchers from the government to help subsidize $80 a gallon maple? <laughs> you just uploaded a video on coins. Are you serious, Bob Pop? Really? You did? I might have to go watch this. I might really have to go watch this. Hmm. Did he really do a video on coins? Maple r syrup ration stubs? <laughs> right? <laughs> Two meals without ketchup? I was shocked that he actually had mustard on his plate in one of them. Like, he actually had, like, it's not just ketchup. Like, he went for something different. Alright, I actually gotta get my, uh... I gotta get my, uh, computer closer to me, and I gotta go type Bob Pop... ...into my thing here. I gotta search that by channel. Of course, it's not finding it, because he keeps changing his channel name. Alright, hold on. Because the links don't work for me, that's crazy. Like, if I click your link, it doesn't work for me. 
Oh wait, no, this time it did. Okay, never mind. Getting crown rank 29. Aaron Rodgers is in the game. Wow. And no Burt Fall, guys. No, I don't see any uh, coin video there. Bob Pop, you made me look. You made me look. You made me look. Okay. Yeah, the clicking three dots doesn't work. It doesn't give it to me when I'm in YouTube Studio. I'm not watching on YouTube. I'm watching through YouTube Studio because I'm broadcasting. It's a little bit different. So the links don't work like that. Whoa. Whoa. I just saw some orange flash in front of me here. We saw an orange super chat. I'm getting ready to end my stream and I saw that pop up. Marmello with a $42 New Zealand super chat. Oats is the king of brekkie. Except college frosty milkshakes. Laughing. At Kiwi, college are excellent sausages, man. <laughs> so wait, college has good Kiwi milkshakes? Kiwi milkshakes, is that what you're trying to say? They have Kiwi milkshakes. <laughs> I mean, probably pretty good. <laughs> and college are excellent sausages. <laughs> Manda, you saw a coin video? Where's there a coin video? Where where is this coin video, Amanda? Where's this coin video? Why are you laughing and saying you saw it? You said there was none, and now you're saying you saw it. Now Alfred's telling me to go watch this, okay. And it goes, oops, went something wrong and doesn't show it to me. So let me copy this into this link and hit paste. Oh, it's on a different channel. No, it is here. It doesn't show up on your channel though. You must not have added it. Do you like coins? Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. I'm going to click like on this. And I'm going to leave a comment. Sure do. Exclamation point. I'm going to give him a whole bunch of exclamation points. There you go. I guess there is a... I wonder why it doesn't show up. Like, when I click on your channel and go to your uploads and videos, it's not there. It only shows three videos. But let's go. You're up to 11 subscribers. Let's go. Oh, Bob Pop already loves my comment. Well, that's good to see. That's good to see. <laughs> uh, thanks again for the super chat, Marmello. Very generous of you to do that. <laughs> oh, man. Mar uh, Bob Pop put, likes the hype, too, of course. No, oh, you clicked Alfred. How did Alfred find that? Alfred, how did you find that? It's not even on his channel. Oh, this guy. Oh yeah, I never started him up again. I don't know. We gotta be. We gotta end the stream. We can't be doing. We can't be keep streaming, can we? We gotta end the stream. What time is it? Oh my god, it's getting close to two in the morning. Yeah, I think we gotta end the stream, people. I think we need to. How am I? How are we going to end the stream, Bob? How do we end the stream? <laughs> Alfred's a wizard, you know that. Yeah, I guess that's true. He knows the secrets of the YouTubes. Can you really end on a super chat? I mean, really, I... You're right, I gotta let his super chat fully tick down, Craig. That is a very good point. His super chat's only about two-thirds of the way, or one-third of the way ticked down getting to be about half ticked down. That's true. That would be a disservice to Mr. Marmy Wren, a.k.a. Mr. Marmello, a.k.a. Theodore Logan Barry Esquire. It'd be a, it would be a disservice if we just stopped right now. So you know what? Let's, uh... I guess I'll pick some more stones. Ha, ha, ha. 
go unplug your router, stream over. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I just got a reply to my comment. Oh, Marmelo sent me an email and Amanda an email with a link to Bob Pop's video. Watch, do you like coins on e on YouTube? Well, thanks, Marmelo. I we got it. Alfred got it to us. Bob Pop replied, "Yeah, hype." Yeah, hype. Bob Pop's got a coin channel now. Should play the super. You know what? It didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work. Hold on. If I refresh everything, it shows his chat, his, his thing up there. That's weird. Okay. So it shows that. Um, yeah, let me try to replay that. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it didn't pop up. Let me log into my stream elements. Log in with YouTube. Go to my dashboard. I got a super chat. How do I do this? Let me look at this. There it is. Here we go. You ready? Ready? <laughs> Oats is the king of brekkie. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oats is the king of Brecky. I mean, there's no denying it. There's no denying that. Now I think on the scroll at top it's going to show him doing that twice, but that's okay. Totes, let it tick Mickey Rick. <laughs> I don't know what that means. This guy's picking up rocks on the wrong part of my damn field again. Here. This is how it'll fix that. Go to this part of the field and start here. You just got done eating breakfast? Nice. Cinnamon roll. Lots of frosting, I bet. Lots of frosting. <laughs> Oats is the king of Brecky. <laughs> Oats? Marvello, you must have never had Frosted Flakes then. Because <laughs> here in America, corn is the king of brekkie, I believe. Or sausages. But I guess college has excellent sausages. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, you're going to make another? You just made another one, Bob? Really? You made another coin video? Huh. That's interesting. I just don't know why they don't show up on your channel. When I look at it, it's weird. You're at number 13. The nice. nice. Crispix. <laughs> oh no. Mr. Marmello. <laughs> With a 55.42 super chat. Does this work? Half more out farmering, please? Tractor, 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 soccer? <laughs> the best coin is the 69 coin? Oh, you like 1969's best, Banks? 
undercooked food at the dining hall. What, Mikey? No, they can't. They better not give you undercooked food. You should report them. Or you should tell them to cook the food more. Thanks, Mr. Marmillo. <laughs> more oat farmer? You want me to plant some oats? Is that what you want me to do? Well, I mean, I guess I could plant a field of oats real quick. Let me disconnect that. Let me go over to my planter. Oats, you say, huh? I'm telling you. I don't, I don't think I eat many oats. We drink oats in the form of beer. Let's go plant some oats. <laughs> Arella just paid 55 bucks. He wants some Frickin' oats, he says. Well, you know what? If you do a $55 super chat, I'll plant oats. Someone a someone once asked, how much would it take for you to plant oats? Well, we found out it's somewhere around $55. Selecting seed, oats. Lower cedar. Turn it on. This fruit cannot be planted in August. No! We can't. We can't plant oats. When can we plant oats? Kittle won't wake up in time? Oh, I'll never get invited again. <laughs> I'm going to miss my appointment. Oh, we can only plant oats in March or April. We're not even close. We're not even close, Marmello. <laughs> We'd have to wait until March or April. <laughs> We can only plant wheat, canola. No, wait. We can only plant... In August, we can only plant canola. Okay. That's the only thing we can plant in August. Canola and grass and poplar trees. Oh, what a bummer. What a bummer, Marmello. I was going to plant some oats. I was going to plant some oats. Reminders don't work if I'm sleeping, Craig. <laughs> I'll sleep right through anything. <laughs> oh man that's funny stuff that is some funny stuff alright uh, Bob Popcoin says bank station I'm a coin YouTuber for the day huh there you go there you go Guess you better sleep for a few in-game months for oats. But then that's going to screw up all the other fields. Like, we need to... We still need to harvest. I can't... If we don't harvest, like, in the right months, then, like, we, we can't just skip this. That's the problem. That's one of the problems with this, uh... What do you call it? The seasons on here. You can't just plant whatever you want whenever you want. It's kind of unfortunate. Because I think Marmello deserves some oats. <laughs> Holy crap. Sounds like a personal problem, doesn't it, Mikey? Alright, that field is now free of rocks. AI worker A has a full grain tank. So let's... Go empty his grain tank. You want to use the PP command? Well, yeah, you can't do that, though, Mikey. You can only use it in streams that have a command. <laughs> Let's go, Bob and Spuds, then. I don't, I don't have any potato planting. I can't plant potatoes. I don't have the equipment to do that. You need specialized equipment. And, and it's not potato planting month. <laughs> that Or broccoli trees? Oh, uh, I'm not planting trees. I don't have forestry equipment. I, I have no way to harvest them or plant them. I don't, you gotta have special... You can't just plant trees by hand. <laughs> Holy crap. Mikey hasn't tried doing PP in Discord yet? No, he hasn't. That's my monthly kitty allowance, ex allowance expenses, KK. 
<laughs> okay, Marmelo, I appreciate that. That's very generous. Again, you don't have to do that, but you did. But you did. <laughs> Unbelievable. KK. All right. We really got to end this stream pretty soon here. We really do. We really do. See you, Shannon. See you tomorrow in the evening. Absolutely. Bob's got to go. See you, Bob. I think we all got to go. And I'm keeping you guys up. I don't want to be doing that. It's not fair. Thanks again, everybody, for being here. I'm just going to go park this where we left off. Then I'm going to go park my other tractor so I don't leave it in the middle of the field. And we're going to end this. So everybody say goodnight to everybody. Again, we'll be on the live coin Q&A tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And after that, after you come in there and ask all of us questions about coins or coin collecting, we will uh, we'll play some games. I don't know what we're going to play tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to play tomorrow. Not sure. We'll see. We'll figure out something good. We'll figure out something good. But this, we're just going to park this right over here. I don't think I can plant barley either. No, not yet. Got to wait a couple months for that. The seasons thing sucks, Craig. The seasons right here, we can plant right now. The only thing we can plant is canola and poplar and grass and oilseed radish. We can't plant barley until September or October. So next month we can plant wheat and barley as well. Power washer or Kerbals? Alfred says Fallout. Oh, I don't know what we're going to play tomorrow. I don't know. I kind of want to play Ark. I always want to play Ark. But... PP, Knight, Shannon, Bob, 8th tea time. Marmello, make sure you get some sleep. Make sure you get some sleep. We want to see you at about noontime tomorrow, your time, in the coin Q&A. Jordan says Fall Guys. Mikey says Detroit Become Human. Mikey must really like that game for some reason. He must he keeps bugging keeps begging me to play it. Detroit Become Human. Ooh, $165 worth of rocks. Nice. Nice. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and put this thing back away since we can't really do what we wanted to do there with that. That sucks. this back by the plow so we, we know we need to plow this field next time we play. Marmello, I'm not going to plant oilseed radish. Oilseed radish is dumb. Look at this. This is what oilseed radish is, okay? Let's go to the help. Um, special crops. Does it even have it in here anymore? Catch crop right there. Oilseed radish is a special crop. As you do not harvest it, it'll be used as fertilizer, a so-called catch crop. Once the plants are visible, you can use a cultivator and dig the plant into the soil. It is a green manure and increases your yield for the next harvest. So all it is is you grow this entire crop of oilseed radish just to plow it under, basically, and it becomes fertilizer. It So you'd spend months and months and months, or however long it takes growing it, just to dig it under, and then you plant something else anyway. When at the same time, you could just plant something and then spread some fertilizer and be in the same exact spot. Now, if it gave you some kind of crazy bonus to your 
um, to your harvesting, that would make sense, but it's just fertilizer. It's just fertilizer. Let's go curvils. Maybe we'll do curvils tomorrow. Maybe we'll do curvils tomorrow. I don't know. Banks says Fall Guys at 10 p.m. <laughs> Maybe we'll just play everything. We'll play every game so everybody's happy. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Marmello, let's go the radish. No, I just told you we we like the radish is a complete, complete and utter waste of time and resources. It's not worth it. It's 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 bad. It's it's a waste of time. It costs. I mean, it, we could just spread fertilizer. Fertilizer's good. Oil seed radish. No, and you can't even sell it. You can't harvest it. It's just you'd plow it under. <laughs> Oil seed. Now we gotta end this stream, Armel. I appreciate the 355 super chat and the other super chats as well. Thank you very much, my friend. Um, natural is best. They do it in Yorkshire. Marmello, remind me next time we play. I'll think about it. Maybe, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll have Kittle. Uh, maybe this is what we'll do. This is the Kittle Farm. This is Kittle Farms, right? This is Kittle Farms. Let's show the map. This is my farmland here, right? Hold on, where are we at? These are my farms. Maybe we keep these as my commercial farms where I use fertilizers and all the chemicals. And maybe we keep this as our organic farm. And we'll plant some dumb or oil seed radish. <laughs> Radishes are rad. They are. They actually are. Yeah. Maybe we'll keep this as our organic farm. That would, because it's right next to the solar panel we put there too, right? Maybe we'll have an or, one organic farm, and then we'll have our regular farms here. Maybe we'll do that. You'll have to remind me next time we do it, because uh, I gotta sign off here, guys. Otherwise, you're gonna keep me playing for another few hours. There'll be no more plus one more. So may your dreams be filled with spicy chickens, big bulls of Kraft Mac and Cheese spirals and so many nugs that your dream almost becomes a nightmare. Good night, everybody. We will see you on the coin Q&A in about, uh, what, 13 hours? Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. And thanks again, Marmelo, for all those super chats. You did not have to do that, but you did. <laughs>